Welcome to St. Stephen's High School. I'm Cody Bears, and uh, hey, glad you're here tonight. Uh, we've got St. Stephen's and Wyoming Indian basketball on the network, and uh, uh, we're ready to play some basketball here. It's 2A girls basketball as the 11-3 Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs uh, come in. They'll match it up tonight against the St. Stephen's Lady Eagles, who come in 1-11 on the season and 0-1 conference play the uh, Wyoming Indian Chiefs and St. Stephen's Lady Eagles played back uh, on December 30th at Ethody in the in the first uh, uh, games of conference play for both teams and in that game it was Wyoming Indian uh, winning big um, let's see the final score was 81 to 26 the Lady Chiefs would beat St. Stephen's in that game and uh, for, for St. Stephen's in that ball game, it was Amanda Jenkins with 10 points. Adriana Aragon had five rebounds. And Madison Ridgely with two assists for this uh, St. Stephen's Lady Eagles team. On the other side, uh, against um, St. Stephen's, well, I don't have individual stats, but it was 81 to 26. Uh, the Lady Chiefs won the game. Uh, Lady Chiefs are getting back. Uh, to about full strength as uh, they uh, battled quite a few issues with COVID over the last uh, seven or eight days. And uh, we should have most of the uh, regular starters in the lineup, but uh, as Coach Alita Moss told me in the pregame, these teams uh, are not as in good a shape as they'd like to be uh, because of COVID and, and how that's kind of went along. So, uh, but uh, Wyoming Indian, Alita Moss taking on St. Stephen's, and Karen returns to war tonight. Uh, no spectators in tonight's game. Um, they're not letting anybody in because of the COVID situation on the Wind River Reservation and in Fremont County. But the players, uh, they're ready to go. All the Lady Chiefs wearing masks tonight. Uh, St. Stephen's, uh, they've got uh, masks on, but uh, not all the girls have them covering up their nose and faces in this uh, pregame show. So we're getting ready to go. This uh, pregame show brought to you by Bailey Tire and the Enterprises for Bailey Tire and Auto Service. And we appreciate uh, all the uh, sponsorships and support for youth athletics going on in Fremont County as we're able to bring you this live stream and radio broadcast. Of course, we're live streaming on YouTube at Wild Today. We've already got uh, uh, several dozen uh, watchers today, and we're also on Facebook at 99.1 FM, The Heat um, Facebook page. So you can go there, you can go to YouTube, you can watch tonight's broadcast, and we'll take a break, we'll come back, we'll break down this matchup. It's Wyoming Indian and St. Stephen's coming up next on KWYW. When you purchase your car, do you know if you got the best payment possible? The answer is probably no. Oftentimes, your loan is packed with additional charges that can drive your monthly payment higher than it should be, costing you thousands of dollars more for your car. Hi, this is Patty, and here is your second chance to get the payment you deserve. Visit Atlantic City Federal Credit Union today for a courtesy loan review. We've helped our members save money by refinancing their vehicle with us. Now it's your turn. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. Why should you choose Lander Medical Clinic or Western Family Care for your health care? In addition to four locations in Fremont County, they also provide telehealth. Telehealth can be your go-to answer when you're out of town, on the road, or just can't get to urgent care. All you need is a good internet connection. To schedule a telehealth appointment, call 332-3941 today. That's 332-3941. Lander Medical Clinic and Western Family Care. With telehealth, they're putting your health first every time. Welcome back to St. Stephen's High School. We're at the Mission tonight, and the uh, St. Stephen's Lady Eagles and the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs getting ready to match up in 2A Southwest Conference play. This is game number two of conference play for these two teams. St. Stephen's comes in. Their leading scorer is Amanda Jenkins. She averages eight points and four steals per game, also uh, pulling down two and a half rebounds for the Lady Eagles. Second leading scorer is Jonay Spoonhunter, who scores seven points a game, and Phelan Ridgely at five points per contest, also 1.3 rebounds. 
for the Lady Eagles. For the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs, well, they come in led in scoring by senior Desi Seher, who is scoring 16.2 uh, points a game, pulling down six rebounds, and recording two blocks per contest. Um, also uh, scoring uh, second leading scorer on this team is Leila Seabaring at five and a half points a game and four rebounds per contest. Uh, Taylor Trosper comes in averaging 4.2 points. Uh, she's uh, leading the team in steals at four steals per contest. Also 4.8 points a game for Kylene Fighting Bear and 4.3 points a game for Layla Sunroads. Also uh, scoring is sophomore Michaela Highwalker at 3.8 points per game. This uh, Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs team, well, they've uh, had two losses so far in this season. They lost to Lovell on January 8th, 59 to 39, and they would lose their last game to 3A Powell, 45-33. Uh, I was looking at uh, standings all around the state in 2A ball this uh, uh, today, and uh, Wyoming Indian uh, is uh, the number one team in Class 2A. They're 10 and I've got them at 11 and three on the season, but uh, uh, nobody else even really close um, in record. Uh, Moorcroft, the number two in the team in the state, is nine and three so far. Rocky Mountain is seven and four, and then Tongue River is six and six, and everybody else in 2A is below 500 on the season. So Lady Chiefs making an impression here in uh, the 2021-22 season as they uh, get ready to head through conference play and uh, possibly uh, another run at a state championship. Of course, they're the three-time state champions in this uh, um, season. Um, St. Stevens, well, they come into the game uh, looking for win number two on the season. Um, they beat Lusk on December 10th, 36-29. to Since then, they've... Uh, had losses to Burlington, Wyoming Indian, Southeast, Pine Bluffs, Matitsi, uh, Rocky Mountain last weekend, uh, Lovell last weekend, Rocky Mountain again last weekend, and then Rocky Mountain again last weekend. So they've been playing uh, a lot of games against uh, some of the best teams in Class 2A. They've got some games against 3A teams. And tonight the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs and the St. Stephen's Lady Eagles match it up as we get uh, now we're nearing the two and a half minute mark uh, in this pregame show. And when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups. This is the Bailey, Enter Bailey Enterprises pregame show on KWYW. At Teton Therapy, our people make the difference. You can live pain-free. The amazing staff at Teton Therapy can help in Lander and Riverton. Heinz General Store has been the grocery store of choice for the Fort Washakie area since 1945. For this week's special, see their website at HeinzGeneralStore.net. And for convenient shopping this winter, click on Heinz Online, download the app, and shop in the comfort of home. Schedule a convenient pickup time, and the team at Heinz General Store will do the rest. Heinz General Store is a proud sponsor of Wyoming Indian Basketball. Let's go, Chiefs! Welcome back as we get ready for the tip-off in this contest and the starting lineups here in about a minute. Um, we are at the mission at St. Stephen's tonight. It's uh, Southwest 2A girls and boys play. The JV games were last night and the varsity games tonight. Uh, Cody Beers and Matthew Hauser here um, at the mission. And as you can see from the crowd, the only... Uh, 
Um, people watching this game are the players for the most part. There's about 10 adults in here. We're gonna have the national anthem, so we'll t take a break and we'll be back. This is Wyoming Indian and St. Stephen's basketball on KWYW. Sponsor our youth athletics in Fremont County. Fremont County School Athletics provide our youth timeless experiences and lessons that can lead to success for life. Setting goals, teamwork, and hard work make young athletes into good citizens. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Community Health Centers. Welcome back. Starters for the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs. It'll be a junior, Layla Seabaring. A junior, Taylor Trosper. A senior at guard, Inez Harris. A senior, Layla Sun Rhodes. And the fifth starter, a senior, averaging 16.2 points a game and six rebounds, Desi Seahair. So it's Seahair, Sun Rhodes, Harris, Trosper, and Seabaring for the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs. And now for the St. Stephen's Lady Eagles starters. Uh, led by uh, Karen Returns to War. First starter, Consuelo Yellow Bear, a senior. Second starter, Amanda Jenkins, a sophomore. The third starter will be a freshman, Jonay Spoonhunter. The fourth starter will be uh, junior, Cammie Williams. And the fifth starter will be a freshman, Faleen Ridgely, so it'll be Consuelo Yellow Bear, Amanda Jenkins, Jonay Spoonhunter, Cami Williams, and Faleen Ridgely for the St. Stephen's Lady Eagles. Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs coached by Alita Moss, and the Lady Eagles coached by Karen Returns to War. We're about ready to go here in this 2A Southwest Conference game, and there was a lot of talk in the uh, throughout the winter or throughout the fall and into these games, uh, where would uh, all the fans sit? Well, COVID took care of that. And tonight we have basically an empty gym as the Lady Eagles and Lady Chiefs get ready to match it up. And so jumping it up is going to be Cammie Williams for St. Stephen's and Desi Seahair for the Lady Chiefs. And we're underway as Wyoming Indian will win the opening tip. Here's Taylor Trosper. Does he see here to Layla Sunroads for the quick layup? It's 2 0 Lady Chiefs. Here's the uh, pass down court to Phelan Ridgely. She'll kick it back to Amanda Jenkins. Turnaround shot, not good by Cammie Williams. And Jenkins will set it up on the left side. Shot up by Yellow Bear, not good. And a long outlet pass to Taylor Trosper. Back to Inez Harris. Taylor Trosper with the layup, and she just left it short. Rebound, Amanda Jenkins. So down court, the shot uh, put up, and uh, we get a couple different rebounds, and then Joni Spoonhunter gets her uh, second chance of the possession, and then a Steal back by Amanda Jenkins in the layup and she'll draw the Wyoming Indian foul. And that shot is good and the first foul of the ball game called on Taylor Trosper. So St. Stephen's leads it 4-2 with 7.08 to go first quarter from St. Stephen's and now Amanda Jenkins with an opportunity at a three point play. So Jenkins to the line, eyes it, fires it, banks it, not good, rebound Seahair to Seabaring, down to Taylor Trosper, to Inez Harris, 
All five girls touch it. Back to Taylor Trosper. Shot up. Good. <laughs> Taylor Trosper with her first bucket. And we're tied up four apiece on the WyoToday.com scoreboard. There's a baseball pass to Yellow Bear over the top of the zone press to Spoon Hunter. She'll dribble toward the corner, find Jenkins. And now Jenkins down the lane is all over the place and will get a foul on Wyoming Indian. That's going to go on Desi C here, and that'll be her first. Second team foul on the Lady Chiefs. So Spoon Hunter inbounds it to Ridgely, and her shot is good. Phelan Ridgely with her first bucket, and it's 6 4, St. Stevens. Back the other way, here's Harris to Trosper. Now Layla Seabaring in the high post, and she'll walk with the basketball. So turnover number two on Wyoming Indian. St. Stephen's basketball just underway from the mission. Two games tonight in front of basically no fans. Here's Spoon Hunter and a near steal by Layla Sunroads, and then the ball will be tipped out of bounds by Jonay Spoon Hunter. Turnover by St. Stephen's to Wyoming Indian. 6-17 to play first quarter, 6-4 ball game on the wyotoday.com scoreboard. Here's Sun Rhodes on the left side, around the horn to Inez Harris. Her long shot is off the front of the rim, not good, and Phelan Ridgely with the rebound. She'll kick it back to Jenkins. Lady Chiefs pick it up, three-quarter court. Jenkins will pass over it to Joan A. Spoonhunter. Her shot is short, rebound C. Hare, and then we'll get a foul on the Lady Eagles. And that'll be the first foul on Cammie Williams. First team foul on the Lady Eagles. 5.53 to play, first quarter. Here's Inez Harris. She'll throw it cross court and a dangerous pass right to Layla Sunroads, then Desi Seahair. Now back out to Sunroads and Trosper. She'll pop the long three, not good. Rebound Spoon Hunter, but she'll throw it right to Inez Harris. Underneath to Seahair. And then Consuelo Yellow Bear will pick that off. And we'll get a traveling call then on Yellow Bear. Turnover number four on the Lady Eagles. 5.30 to play first quarter, two point game. Lady Eagles lead it 6-4 on the wildtoday.com scoreboard. Here's a long three by Sun Roads, not good. Ridgely with the rebound to Jenkins and then stolen away by Layla Seabaring. To Inez Harris, back to Seabaring, lay it up and good. So for those five turnovers leading to six points for Wyoming Indian. Here's Spoon Hunter. Jonay throws the left side. Seabaring with the near steal. Inside to Ridgely, she'll miss the layup. And then Seher with the rebound, but she'll lose it off her leg and out of bounds. One point game, Wyoming Indian in the lead. There's been two lead changes so far. 4.55 to play. Here's Spoon Hunter. Spoon Hunter with the long inbound to Yellow Bear. Right side to Jenkins. Amanda Jenkins, baseball pass out of bounds. Nobody there except a little fan running around on the end of the court. And she nearly took one in the noggin. And we'll get a 30-second timeout by Wyoming Indian. We'll go with it, 4.48 to play. We're tied at six, and we'll be back. This is Wyoming Indian, St. Stephen's basketball on KWYW. Across Fremont County, ready to serve you at Dubois Medical Clinic, Riverton Community Health, and Lander Community Health Pediatrics. We accept all forms of insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare. Are you struggling to get medical care? Ask for their sliding fee scale. From family medicine to pediatrics, community health centers are here to serve you. Call 307-463-7160 or visit chccw.org to schedule your appointment. Welcome back, 4.48 to play first quarter. 6-6 six, six ball game on the wildtoday.com scoreboard. And it'll be Lady Chiefs basketball here on a Friday night at St. Stephen's High School. No fans in the house, just a few workers. There's a ball tipped out of bounds by Yellow Bear. It will stay with the Lady Chiefs. So Inez Harris will take the ball out of bounds. 
for Wyoming Indian. She'll inbound it, get it back from Taylor Trosper. At the high post, Layla Seabaring, now right side Sun Roads. Back top of the key to Trosper, right side Sun Roads. Into Seabaring, and she'll walk with a basketball. She's moved her pivot foot. That's turnover number four on the Lady Chiefs. We'll get Amaya, her many horses in the ball game. Michaela Highwalker in the game as Inez Harris and Layla Seabaring leave the game. 6-6 ball game, four and a half minutes to play, first quarter. Amanda Jenkins will bring it into Williams and then Highwalker with the near steal and then she does get the steal and she loses it on the ground and we'll get a held ball and it'll be St. Stephen's basketball. So St. Stephen's basketball on back-to-back -back turnovers by both teams. Six turnovers each. There's Jenkins at the top of the key, right side to Spoon Hunter. Spoon Hunter dribbles right side, takes it inside, and draws the foul on the Lady Chiefs. And that's going to go on Amaya, her many horses, her first. Third team foul on the Lady Chiefs. Joni Spoon Hunter will go to the line and shoot a pair. First one up. Not good by Spoon Hunter. So Lady Eagles 0 for 2 at the line so far. 4-10 to play, first quarter. It looks like Keith Bowder's in the house. Here's the shot up, not good. And we'll get a held ball as, as a, we've got a Keith Bowder impersonator in the house. Lady Chiefs basketball in the corner. Layla Sunroads for three, it's a bit long, not good. Rebound Spoon Hunter and then stolen back by Taylor Trosper who loses the ball out of bounds. So turnover number seven on each team on that possession. 6-6 Six -six ball game, 3.52 to play, first quarter. Jenkins out the top of the key with the basketball and Taylor Trosper with the steal. She'll throw it back over her head to Layla Sunroads and then Sunroads steps out of bounds. Turnover to each team. Eight each way in a 6-6 ball game with 3.41 to play first quarter. Timeout called by St. Stephen's coach. Karen returns to war. We'll take a break. This is Wyoming Indian St. Stephen's basketball on KWYW. We're also streaming on YouTube at Wyo Today. In any sport, athletes face the chance of sustaining an injury. According to the Athletic Training Association, 90% of student athletes reported some sort of sports-related injury. What's more is 54% report playing while injured. For various reasons, sports-related injuries are increasingly leaving our youth at risk of exposure to opioid-based pain medication. FremontWhenTheGameSlowsDown.com is here to help navigate monitoring medication, social support, and suggestions on what to do when the game slows down. Brought to you by Fremont County Prevention Program. Welcome back. 3.41 to play first quarter in a 6-6 ball game. St. Stephen's basketball. Here's Spoon Hunter from Jenkins. And now Spoon Hunter right side to Yellow Bear. Spoon Hunter, top of the key to Jenkins. She'll launch the three, not good. And coming away with the rebound is Wyoming Indian. Shot put back up by St. Stephens, and then Yellow Bear forces a turnover on High Walker. Left side pass to Spoon Hunter. Her three is going to be an air ball. And the rebound taken away by Benet Nipwater. And then a steal by Amanda Jenkins. So turnovers each way again on these two teams. Shot put up by Jenkins is off the rim a bit long and ran down in the corner by St. Stephens. Right now St. Stephens playing with good energy. Here's Cammy Williams, top of the key to Jenkins. 2.45 to play first quarter, first game of two. We'll have Wyoming Indian St. Stephens boys going after this one. Wyoming Indian with an 81-70 win on December 30th over St. Stephens. Turnover on St. Stephen's. That'll be their 10th. And it'll be Lady Chiefs basketball. St. Stephen's pressure defense causing the Lady Chiefs some issues in this first quarter. Here's her many horses. 
She has to go to the ground to keep the ball to Desi Seher. She'll drive in the lane and draw the foul. It'll be a two-shot foul as Amanda Jenkins will be whistled for her first foul. So Seher, who's not scored in this game, the leading scorer for the Lady Chiefs, at 16.3 points a game, steps to the line. She'll shoot a pair. First one, in and out. She'll get a second. 2.26 to play, first quarter. Shot up by Seher, a bit short. Rebound, High Walker. And then she'll lose the ball on a great play by Yellow Bear. So turnover, number 10 on the Lady Chiefs. Here's Jenkins to Yellow Bear in the corner. Back out top of the key, she'll throw it away. Stolen back by Michaela Highwalker. Lady Chiefs basketball, her many horses to High Walker. Back outside to Trosper around the horn. Nipwater, long jumper is good. It's a long two of about 18 feet. And Benay Nipwater with her first bucket. 8-6, Lady Chiefs. There's Yellow Bear underneath. Nice pass. Shot up, not good. Rebound, put back, is good. And that's Phelan Ridgely. She's got four points. And it's an 8-8 ball game. Here's a pass down court to Nipwater. She'll drive inside, kick it out to High Walker. Her left-handed Jay, a bit short. Rebound, her many horses will have it taken away by Ridgely. So steal and turnover number 11 for the Lady Chiefs. Down to Amanda Jenkins. Back outside to Jonay Spoonhunter. Her shot nearly went. She'll get her own rebound, drive inside, and leave the shot short. And High Walker with the rebound, and then she throws it back to St. Stephens. So the Lady Eagles reset under a minute to play, first quarter. Amanda Jenkins with the long jumper, not good. Rebound Desi Seher. Down court to High Walker. High Walker across the key to Nipwater. Back out top of the key, Trosper. She'll shoot the long three. It'll go front of the rim, not good. Rebound, see here. And she'll be fouled on the follow-up shot. So 39 seconds to play and the second foul on Cammie Williams. That'll be team foul number three on St. Stephens. So see here back to the line, 0 for 2 so far. She'll shoot two. First one good. 9-8 Lady Chiefs. And it is just stone quiet inside this gym. Basketball players in the house watching things. Maybe a couple people have snuck in, but I don't think so. See here, second free throw is good. So two points for Desi Seher and an 8-10 lead for the Lady Chiefs. Here's Amaya, her many horses, she'll steal it away. Goes down to her knees. And then we're gonna, go in, we're gonna get a timeout called by Wyoming Indian coach Alita Moss. 31 seconds to play first quarter. It's the Lady Chiefs 10, St. Stephen's eight. We'll take a break, we'll be back. This is Wyoming Indian, St. Stephen's basketball on KWYW. Is your resolution this this year to be healthier? You may have made a commitment to improve your physical health, but don't forget about your financial health. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union is listed as one of the healthiest credit unions in the U.S., and we are the healthiest credit union in Wyoming, according to thedepositaccounts.com. Don't risk having your accounts anywhere else. Become a member today and accomplish your first resolution by becoming healthier. Financially speaking, that is. Federally insured by NCUA, open your eyes to a credit union, Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. Welcome back, 31 seconds to play, first quarter. 32nd timeout taken by the Lady Chiefs after that turnover by St. Stephen's, their 12th. So Lady Chiefs basketball, here's Trosper in the corner to Nipwater. She'll throw up the long three, not good, and then we'll get a rebound by Consuelo Yellow Bear and a Wyoming Indian foul. Not sure who that was on, but Hopefully they'll put it up. It's gonna go on St. Stephen's and Cammie Williams, her third foul. So Lady Chiefs basketball, 
There's Trosper with the ball out of bounds. She'll kick it in to Seabaring. Shot up, not good. And Jenkins with the rebound and the foul on Layla Seabaring. Her first. So four team fouls each way, and it'll be St. Stephen's basketball with 19 seconds to play in this first quarter. Here's Ridgely to Jenkins. The press causing problems in backcourt, and then Amaya, her many horses, ties up Ridgely on a nice defensive play. That'll be a turnover on St. Stephen's, and it'll be Wyoming Indian basketball with 10 seconds to play in the first quarter. Here's Seahair to Nipwater, around the horn. Taylor Trosper for three, not good. Rebound, Benet Nipwater, and they will not get a shot off. We've played one quarter. It's Wyoming Indian 10, St. Stephen's 8. We'll take a break, we'll be back. This is Fremont County Basketball on the Wind River Radio Network. Gachi Rehabilitation and Wellness knows what it means to be on top of your game. For over 60 years, Gachi has led the field in providing physical therapy, occupational therapy, and wellness in Thermopolis and their facilities in Worland, Basin, Cody, and Shoshone. Whether you're recovering from an injury, deconditioned, post-stroke, or just looking to take control of your health, you'll find years of dedicated experience paired with personal care at Gachi Rehabilitation and Wellness. Learn more at gachi.org. Your car or truck is an investment. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Ticket to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288. High Plains Power is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative. What does that mean for you as a Rural Electric Association member? It all comes down to seven principles. Open membership, one voice, one vote, member benefits, independence, education, cooperation, and community. To understand how it all works, we're headed back in time. In 1879, electricity was in major cities, but rural areas were out of luck. In 1935, President FDR made it possible for companies to build power lines to unserved areas. By the time we hit 1941, some 400 electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural America, just like High Plains Power. For more information, visit highplainspower.org. Welcome back as Consuelo Yellow Bear put up a three-pointer. We'll get a held ball inside the paint, and it'll be Wyoming Indian basketball with 7.50 to play in the second quarter. 10-8 ball game. This is the second Southwest 2A conference game for each team. Wyoming Indian with an 81-26 win in game one. Here's Desi Seher. After they break the press, she'll miss the layup. Rebound kicks out to Layla Seabaring. Right side, Inez Harris. Now Seabaring around the horn to Sunroads. And Seabaring and Harris. 7.31 to play, here's a steal by Phelan Ridgely, and then St. Stephens will throw away the basketball after a nice steal by Ridgely. That's turnover number 14. Lady Chiefs basketball. Here's Harris in the corner to Nipwater. Her three is a bit long, and the rebound by Ridgely to Yellow Bear. Yellow Bear throws it right side to Amanda Jenkins and she'll bring it across the timeline. Then she'll go right to the hole, a bit hard. Rebound Jenkins, back outside Yellow Bear. And the Lady Eagles will reset. Here's a pass inside to Jenkins. Nice move, blocked shot by Seher. And the ball will go out of bounds and throwing it away are the Lady Eagles. Substitute coming in the game is going to be Jonay Spoonhunter for Amanda Jenkins for the Lady Eagles. Lady Chiefs basketball, here's Sun Roads to Nipwater. Nipwater in the lane, finds Seabaring. Layla walks with the basketball. Turnover number 14 on the Lady Chiefs. 6.43 to play first half. Lady Chiefs playing with the mass on. Been battling COVID within the program. Games tomorrow, incidentally, are canceled as we'll get a foul on Wyoming Indian, Inez Harris, with her first foul. 
in the defensive press. Games tomorrow with Wind River all canceled. Uh, a lot of COVID in the Wind River program. Here's a tip out of bounds by Nipwater and the ball will stay with the Lady Eagles. And so this game will be the lone contest for the girls and boys this weekend. Then Yellow Bear throws it across the lane intended for Madison Ridgely and the ball goes out of bounds. So that's turnover number 16 in this first half on the Lady Eagles. And now the referee playing soccer and he's struggling, but he got it off the floor. Wyoming Indian basketball to Inez Harris. Her three-pointer is good. So first points of the second quarter for the Lady Chiefs, and they lead 13-8. Here's a steal. Tedler Trosper, and then she'll get it back. Missed the low up, but putting it up and good is Layla Sunroads, and she's fouled on the play. The foul, I believe, is going to go on 32 for St. Stephen's. I don't have a 32 in my book. Her first foul. No free throw by Sunroads. Actually, I believe it was on 23, the foul, so. St. Stephen's basketball as Sun Rhodes stepped over the line. Here's a steal by Taylor Trosper. She'll go coast to coast, lay it up, miss the layup. And Layla Seabaring with the rebound. Outside to Taylor Trosper. Her three is going to be long. And the rebound taken away by St. Stephen's. And it was number 32. And she'll lose the ball out of bounds. So let's see if we can figure out who 32 is. It's Callista Yellow Bear, or Solista Yellow Bear, a senior. So Solista Yellow Bear with one foul. We've got a foul underneath the hoop on Phelan Ridgely on offense, her first. 15-8 ball game, Wyoming Indian has scored five and St. Stephen's no points in the second quarter. Here's Trosper to Layla Sunroads. Across the angle to Inez Harris. Another three-pointer on the way is going to be an air ball. And coming up with the rebound is Wyoming Indian. Inez, or um, Desi Seahair finds Layla Seabaring. And now Seabaring down after turning that ankle again. I believe it's going to be the same ankle that she turned last month. So Layla doesn't want to come out of the game, but uh, Lita Moss says, yes, you're coming out. And Amaya, her many horse, is going to come in for Layla Seabury. 15-8, 5.26 to play, second quarter. St. Stephen's basketball, here's Spoon Hunter. Spoon Hunter dribbles left side, guarded by Inez Harris into the corner, and Inez ties her up. But we're going to get a foul on Inez Harris. And that'll be foul number two on the Wyoming Indian senior. Timeout, St. Stevens. It'll be a 30 second timeout, 517 to play first half. And we'll be back. Hi, this is Terry Banker. I minister at New Hope Christian Church in Lander, Wyoming. We want to support the kids of this area academically, athletically, and spiritually. Our address is 630 Mount Hope Drive. Come to Sunday School at 930 and our worship service at 1045. Welcome back. We've got another imposter in the Keith Bowder seat. 15-8 ball game, 517 to play first half. 
I don't know where Bowder is, but uh, they have a special seat here for the activities director, Keith Bowder. It's pink. A steal by Wyoming Indian. Here's Inez Harris heading the other way to Taylor Trosper. She'll kick it out to Harris. Now underneath to Desi Seahair. Her shot up all over the rim, not good. Rebound back by Seahair. It'll go on the other side of the rim. Then rebounded, saved by Layla Sunroads to Taylor Trosper. Three-pointer is short. Rebound, Amaya her many horses, and she'll be tied up by Joan A. Spoonhunter. And it'll be St. Stephen's basketball. So Lady Chiefs with a, I believe, three shots on that play, and none would go. Here's Ridgely, back to Spoonhunter, and she'll be knocked out of bounds, or run out of bounds, I believe. So turnover. Lady Eagles, and that'll be turnover number 18 in the ball game. 15 to eight, ball game in the corner. Shot by Harris, not good. Rebound, see here, her put back, not good. And coming out with the rebound is Celista Yellow Bear. Her left-handed shot is good. 15 to 10. St. Stephen's hanging tough against the number one team in class 2A, the Lady Chiefs. There's Sun Roads. To Desi Seahair, she'll be double teamed. Back outside, Trosper. Now her many horses, right side Harris for three. Front of the rim, not good. And the rebound taken away on the play by St. Stephens. That St. Stephens uh, rebound by number 23, Larissa Seahair. Seahair with the basketball and she'll throw it away to Inez Harris, she'll go coast to coast and miss the layup. Rebound, Taylor Trosper. Inside to her many horses, to Desi Seahair, and she'll be fouled on the play. And the foul on St. Stephen's gonna go on, well, we'll see who it's on. I'm in a tough angle across the floor. It'll be the fourth foul on Cammie Williams. So Desi C here back up for more free throws. She's two for four in the ball game. First free throw, in and out, not good. Both of these teams uh, cold as this winter right now. 5-2 in the second quarter. A lot of close missed shots, a lot of turnovers each way. So C here steps back in. She'll eye it. Fire it and knock it down. Three points for Desi C here. And she'll come out of the ball game and we'll see in the ball game for the Lady Chiefs. It's Jace Boyder. 16-10, Lady Chiefs in the full court press. Here's Spoon Hunter to Williams. Down court to Ridgely. Shot up, not good by the Lady Eagles, rebound Amanda Jenkins, and picking up the ball and making the shot on the play was Phelan Ridgely. She's got six points, and then we'll get a Wyoming Indian turnover as Amaya, her many horses, walks with a basketball. 16 turnovers on the Lady Chiefs, 18 on the Lady Eagles. Lady Eagles basketball, four point game. Here's Spoon Hunter. Spoon Hunter throws it down court to Jenkins. Cross court pass, inside shot, not good. That was Madison Ridgely. And Wyoming Indian with the rebound. Out to Taylor Trosper. She'll pick it up, then throw it back in. Picked up by Harris. And then she'll double dribble with the basketball. Turnover number 17 on the Lady Chiefs. 253 and counting, here's Spoon Hunter to Williams, playing with those four fouls. To Spoon Hunter, stolen back away by Inez Harris. To Layla Sunroads, and she'll miss the inside shot. Not good, and then we're gonna get a held ball between Amanda Jenkins and Layla Sunroads. So Lady Chiefs basketball, as we'll get Larissa McElroy coming in the game, and. She'll replace Layla Sunroads. We've got a timeout taken by Wyoming Indian. It'll be a full timeout 
with 2.37 to play in a four-point game. It's Wyoming Indians 16, St. Stephen's 12. Former University of Wyoming quarterback Josh Allen is worthy of Wyoming. 23 plays into my first start here at the University of Wyoming. I dropped back, kind of went through a progression. And I saw the middle of the field kind of open up. I decided to lower my shoulder. His helmet went straight into my collarbone here. We landed on the 20-yard line. At that moment, I knew something was really bad. So Josh's collarbone was pretty bad. He had broken in multiple places, and it required um, hardware fixation with the plate in order to get it back together. It was devastating news to me and my family, just knowing that you know it could have ended 23 plays in. We had no question whether we could perform the surgery here, given our wider range of uh, varying subspecialties within orthopedics. I would recommend Premier Bone and Joint Centers. The thing that made me feel really comfortable with them was they made it feel like your own family. I think he'll have no problem performing in the NFL. His rehab and his recovery have uh, done very well and I don't see any restrictions on him whatsoever. They want the best for you and they won't steer you wrong. Let us show you why we're worthy of Wyoming. Welcome back, 237 to play. First half and the Lady Chiefs with a 16 to 12 ball game. This game's been dominated by turnovers. It'll be Lady Chiefs basketball under their own hoop. Inez Harris with the ball. She'll inbound it to Jace Boyer. Back to Taylor Trosper. Now Inez Harris for three. It'll go off the front of the rim, not good. Taylor Trosper with the steal. And the Lady Chiefs trying to pound it inside and they just haven't had much luck. Here's her many horses outside to McElroy. Her shot is short and the rebound taken away by Cami Williams. Down court to Amanda Jenkins. She'll throw up the wild shot over two defenders. Not good. Rebound her many horses to McElroy and Trosper and Harris. Harris to the up and under, nice move. And the shot, five points in the quarter for Inez Harris. And it's 18 to 12. And another steal. This one by Amaya, her many horses. And stolen right back by St. Stevens. Down court, Ridgely walks, no call. Ball's gonna go off Madison Ridgely's foot. And Phelan Ridgely catches the ball and rolls out of bounds. Turnover, St. Stevens. 22 turnovers on the Lady Eagles. There's Amaya, her many horses down court. And a near steal by Spoonhunter. Back to Trosper. She'll dribble it around the right side. Wanted to take the shot. Good defense by Jenkins. Inside, Boyer, her shot's good. Chase Boyer on the scorebook with her first bucket. And it's 20 to 12, Lady Chiefs. There's Williams and a steal back by Trosper. Inside, left-handed shot by McElroy, not good. She'll go down to the floor. It'll be a held ball between McElroy, her many horses, and Williams. And it'll go on the alternating possession to the St. Stephen's Lady Eagles. Inbounds to Jenkins. Back to Spoon Hunter. Now Williams. And Williams will throw it away on the steal by Boyer. Down court, Harris. Her shot going to be blocked by Amanda Jenkins. Stolen right back by Amaya, her many horses. And then stolen by St. Stephens. Down court, Madison Ridgely. They're gonna say two shot foul after she tried to throw the ball up over the back of her head. And it's gonna be a Wyoming Indian foul on the play. Team foul number seven on the second foul by Taylor Trosper. So to the line, in and out for Madison Ridgely. She'll get a second opportunity. Lady Chiefs have scored 10 points in this quarter. St. Stephens with four. Second free throw by Ridgely, not good. Rebound by McElroy. And the Lady Chiefs out on the run. Here's Trosper. She'll dribble the ball off her foot, but picked up by Harris. 23 seconds in the first half. Right side, Trosper. Shot not good, and it'll be tipped out of bounds, and we're gonna get a foul on Wyoming Indian, I believe. Amaya, her many horses, with her second foul. 
And we'll head to the other end to shoot free throws with 18 seconds to play. So who's shooting? Nobody seems to know as Ridgely says, I'll step in there. Faylene Ridgely leading St. Stephen's with six points. And she'll shoot one plus the bonus. First one, not good. Rebound taken away by Wyoming Indian. 15 seconds, steal by Joni Spoonhunter. Her shot, not good. Rebound, Amanda Jenkins to Ridgely. And she'll be fouled again on the play. And Phelan Ridgely back to the line. That was turnover number 20 on the Lady Chiefs. And the third foul on her many horses. So Amaya, her many horses with three fouls. Inez Harris, Taylor Trosper with two each for the Lady Chiefs. On the other side, Cammie Williams with four fouls. Here's Ridgely shooting one plus the bonus. And that shot not good. Well, I guess they said two free throws. Players took off running on the play. I think they just changed that foul to the third foul on Taylor Trosper. So Ridgely left it short with four seconds to play first half and she'll get a second free throw. Ridgely eyes it, fires it, and misses it. Rebound Amanda Jenkins for St. Stephen's to Ridgely. Her shot not good. And the rebound by Taylor Trosper. So we've played a half. It's Wyoming Indian 20. St. Stephen's 12. We'll be back with the halftime show brought to you by WyoToday.com. This is Wyoming Indian and St. Stephen's basketball on KWYW 99.1 FM. Riverton Vision Center offers comprehensive eye health exams, highly trained staff, and a large selection of fashion eyewear and sunglasses. Dr. Ballard, Dr. Hinkel, and Dr. Frazier offer over 70 years of experience. Call Riverton Vision Center at 856-9451 to schedule an appointment today. When repairs are complete after a collision, you expect your car, SUV, or truck to look like new. That's the service you'll receive at Stork Auto Body in Riverton. Professionalism and meticulous attention to detail. You can depend on Stork Auto Body, 841 Miniweb Avenue, Riverton. The choice is yours. Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card lets you choose from 5% off instantly at the register or special financing on qualifying purchases. That means no forms, no waiting, no rebates. You can choose 5% off instantly with your Sutherland's Credit Card. Got a big project? Choose special financing. The choice is yours with Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card. Subject to credit approval, minimum monthly payment required. See store for details. Only at Sutherland's. There are two ways to buy 4x4 gear, the expensive way and the smart way. The expensive way is when you buy a new truck or SUV and the dealer sells you the brush guard, the heavy duty bumpers, the steps, lights, winch, you name it. He rolls it all in with your loan into your monthly payment. But here's the smart way. Shop at Wyoming 4x4 where you get expert advice from Dan, quality gear, professional installation, all for a whole lot less than you'd spend at a car dealer. Wyoming 4x4 on North Federal and Riverton. The smart way to roll. A proud sponsor of this broadcast is Bailey Enterprises. For over 50 years, Bailey has become the name you can trust. With pit stop travel centers, you can fuel up and stock up on trip snacks at locations all over Fremont County. You can also put your trust in Bailey Tire and Auto for service to keep handy for those times when your luck runs out on the road. Refresh at the Speedway Cafe with a dine-in meal or a round of carry-out with a variety of specials to keep you going. Go with Bailey. During winter storms, it doesn't take long for roads to turn slick. Snowfall is often accompanied by high winds, and blowing and drifting snow can make it difficult to see the road. Speed limits are based on dry pavement conditions and good visibility. Be ready to reduce speed and increase following distance. Crashes are twice as likely to happen when it's slick out, and it's usually because someone is driving too fast for conditions. Remember, when there's ice and snow, take it slow. This message is brought to you by YDOT. 
Central Wyoming College now offers Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in early childhood education and organizational management and leadership with an emphasis in outdoor education, tribal leadership, or business and entrepreneurial leadership. CWC offers three ways to learn, online, virtual, and in person. Learn, grow, lead, and advance at Central Wyoming College. CWC is leading the way with expanded programs in the Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. Hi, I'm Tom from Fremont Therapy Group, and we're going to be talking about running analysis. Running analysis has three components to it. Obviously, you look at the running part. Um, that's kind of the gait pattern, looking at how well they strike the ground. The next part looks at how strong they are, their legs, also how flexible they are. There are certain muscles that become tight uh, the more you run. And then the last part, it's looking at how well you move. So you're looking at ways to help you reduce your chance of injury. Come on in, you're going to love it. We'll get you on the treadmill and uh, start the process. Why should your new floor come from Carpet One? Because we're passionate about the spaces our neighbors call home. We're part of your community, and we're also part of the world's largest cooperative of independently owned and operated flooring stores. So you can be sure you'll get great selection and outstanding value with every installation. Whether it's carpet, hardwood, tile, or luxury vinyl, our experts take the guesswork out of choosing the right floor. We're your local Carpet One Floor and Home, the one store for your perfect floor. Welcome back. Halftime show brought to you by wildtoday.com. I got it. And uh, the uh, Lady Chiefs uh, lead this one 20 to 12 over the Lady Eagles as Keith Bowder took his uh, spot in the pink lounging chair. We got some photos and we'll be sharing those out here in a little bit on the wildtoday.com Facebook page. Uh, St. Stephen's Lady Eagles, well, the story was turnovers as they committed 25 in the first half. Lady Eagles went 0 of 7 at the free throw line. They only scored two points in that second quarter, but they're still in this game because the Lady Chiefs committed 20 turnovers in the first half. It was a sloppy first half all the way around for both teams. And uh, I'm sure that uh, there's some direction being given in the locker rooms at this point to hopefully uh, turn the fortunes for the Wyoming Indian and St. Stephen's teams here in the second half. Individually for the St. Stephen's Lady Eagles, Amanda Jenkins had two points in the first half. She was 0 for 1 at the free throw line. Two points for Joan A. Spoonhunter. She was 0 for 2 at the free throw line. Madison Ridgely was 0 for 2 at the free throw line. And Phelan Ridgely led St. Stephen's scores with six points and she was 0 for 2 at the free throw line. Lady Eagles 0 for 7 in the first half at the free throw line. For the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs, uh, Layla Seabaring with two points, Benay Nipwater with two points, two points for Taylor Trosper, five points for Inez Harris. She had a three-pointer in that second quarter and all five points in the second quarter. Layla Sunroads with four points, two points for Jace Boyer, and three points for Desi Seahair. Seahair ended up uh, three for six at the free throw line. Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs three for seven at the free throw line. But the story of this first half, 25 turnovers for St. Stephen's, 20 for Wyoming Indian, but the Lady Chiefs lead it 20 to 12. And as we reported earlier in this broadcast, the Wind River uh, Cougars uh, canceled their basketball games and their wrestling for the weekend. And um, so, uh, Wyoming Indian only with uh, boys and girls games tonight. There was JV games last night here at the Mission. And uh, so it's gonna be a light uh, sports weekend for Wyoming Indian High School as they try to get themselves well after this COVID outbreak hit Fremont County in full force over the last week to 10 days. We'll take a break. We'll be back with the second half of play. This is Wyoming Indian and St. Stephen's basketball on KWYW 99.1 FM, and we're streaming on YouTube at Wild Today. Do you know if you got the best payment possible? 
The answer is probably no. Oftentimes, your loan is packed with additional charges that can drive your monthly payment higher than it should be, costing you thousands of dollars more for your car. Hi, this is Patty, and here is your second chance to get the payment you deserve. Visit Atlantic City Federal Credit Union today for a courtesy loan review. We've helped our members save money by refinancing their vehicle with us. Now it's your turn. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. Why should you choose Lander Medical Clinic or Western Family Care for your health care? In addition to four locations in Fremont County, they also provide telehealth. Telehealth can be your go-to answer when you're out of town, on the road, or just can't get to urgent care. All you need is a good internet connection. To schedule a telehealth appointment, call 332-3941 today. That's 332-3941. Lander Medical Clinic and Western Family Care. With telehealth, they're putting your health first every time. At Teton Therapy, our people make the difference. You can live pain-free. The amazing staff at Teton Therapy can help in Lander and Riverton. Heinz General Store has been the grocery store of choice for the Fort Washakie area since 1945. For this week's special, see their website at HeinzGeneralStore.net. And for convenient shopping this winter, click on Heinz Online, download the app, and shop in the comfort of home. Schedule a convenient pickup time, and the team at Heinz General Store will do the rest. Heinz General Store is a proud sponsor of Wyoming Indian Basketball. Let's go, Chiefs! Welcome back as we get ready for the third quarter of play at St. Stephen's. Wyoming Indian and St. Stephen's on a Friday night. And the Lady Chiefs lead this one 20 to 12 and looking to clean up the turnovers will be the, the emphasis here in the second half. Here's Wyoming Indian with the basketball. Inez Harris inside to Desi C. Hare. She'll be contested and Phelan Ridgely rebounds the air ball. Down court, Amanda Jenkins to Spoon Hunter. Back to Jenkins, her three-pointer on the way. Front of the rim, not good. Rebounded right side to Spoon Hunter. Her shot, not good. Ridgely with the rebound. And then Desi Seahair pulls it away. Down court, Inez Harris all by herself, lays it up and good. Inez Harris with a game-high seven points. Here's Cammie Miller back the other way to Consuelo Yellow Bear. Her shot, not good. Rebound, Amanda Jenkins. To Jonay Spoonhunter, her shot is good. Jonay now with four points. And it's 22-14, Lady Chiefs. Just underway, third quarter, 7.08 to play. Right side to Harris, down court. Top of the key, Trosper, back outside to Harris. Her jump shot is a three-pointer. Her second of the game, it's good. She's got 10 points. And it's 25-14. Now we'll get a traveling call on St. Stephen's. That's turnover number 26 in this ball game on the Lady Eagles. And go ahead, take notes on the broadcast down front. Here's Harris with her second straight three. And eight points in the quarter and quickly it's 28-14 Lady Chiefs. Here's Cami Williams with the basketball playing with four fouls to Spoon Hunter. Spoon Hunter gonna be double teamed on the baseline Picked up and then thrown away as coming away Layla Sunroads. Sunroads down court, finds Trosper, and she'll miss the layup. Rebound Ridgely. Kick it off to Jenkins. Amanda Jenkins to Ridgely in the middle of the court. And Inez Harris will tie up Ridgely, and it'll be a held ball. So St. Stephen's basketball in the alternating possession. 
28-14, 6-16 to play, third quarter. In the corner, Spoon Hunter, near steal by Sun Roads, right side, Yellow Bear, not good, rebound Seaher, and Chiefs on the run. Here's the beautiful pass from Harris to Trosper, lay it up good. And that's 10 points in the quarter already and another steal for Wyoming Indian. Layla Seabaring on that one. Underneath to Seahair. She thought about the turnaround. around Jay, couldn't take it. Kicks it back out to Trosper now. Underneath to Seahair. Her turnaround, baby hook is good. And Desi Seahair with her first bucket. She's got five points. 32 to 14. Down court pass to Ridgely. Picked up by Williams to Ridgely. She'll leave her shot short. Picked up by Williams, and her putback is good. Cami Williams with her first bucket. She's got two, and it's 32-16. Here's a pass down court to Seahair, and Seabaring now cross court stolen away. Jonas, Janae Spoonhunter, her left-handed shot is left long, just a bit strong, and the rebound comes away to Sunroads. And Layla finds a way to get it across the timeline to see her lay it up good. That was junk basketball there at its finest as they the ball went every which way but loose and Desi cleaned it up. Here's another steal by Sun Roads. She'll leave her shot short. And Amanda Jenkins with the baseball pass to Dejone Spoon on her who misses the shot. Rebounds see her underneath. Nearly stolen away by Consuelo Yellow Bear. And over top of Consuelo in a pretty good uh, collision was Layla Sunroads. And she'll come out of the game and Michaela Highwalker will enter along with Benet Nipwater. 34-16 on the wowtoday.com scoreboard. 4.31 to play in this third quarter as Amanda Jenkins comes out of the ball game and Madison Ridgely re-enters. Also Jonay Spoonhunter out of the ball game and in the game for the first time Tommy Moss. Here's Harris with the three. Not good but Michaela Highwalker with the rebound and then a travel. So turnover number 22 on the Chiefs. 4.23 to play, third quarter. Here's Ridgely to Yellow Bear, back to Ridgely and to Madison Ridgely. Down court to Cammie Williams, now right side to Tommy Moss, back to Williams, and we'll get a foul on the play on Desi Seahair. Nope, they're gonna say it is on Layla Seabaring, her second foul. 4.13 to play, third quarter. Williams, her first trip to the free throw line. St. Stephen's 0 for 7, and now 0 for 8 in the ball game. Amaya, her many horses, will come back in the game, playing with three fouls. She'll replace Desi Seahair. Seahair with seven points in the ball game. She came in leading the Chiefs, averaging 16. Williams, second free throw, not good. And then Phelan Ridgely comes away with the rebound, finds Williams, who lays it up and good. Four points for Williams, another steal. Put back, not good, by Consuelo Yellow Bear. And the ball comes away to Inez Harris. Harris right down the lane to Nipwater. Now Seabaring scoops it, good. Nice move by Layla Seabaring. She's got four points, and it's 36-18. There's Tommy Moss. She'll find Yellow Bear. And Consuelo trying to get it across the timeline. Loses it on the steal to Inez Harris. Harris misses the layup. Rebound. Amaya her many horses who picks it up and then starts dribbling again for the double dribble. St. Stephen's basketball. 24 turnovers on Wyoming Indian. On the other side, 29 for St. Stephen's. There's Madison Ridgely with the ball down to Tommy Moss. Right side, Williams. Williams running one-hander, nearly goes. And then we'll get Phelan Ridgely on the foul, knocking Amaya, her many horses, to the floor. 
Second foul on Phelan Ridgely. Substitutes for the Lady Eagles, Amanda Jenkins. Also Joni Spoonhunter coming in the game. It'll be Tommy Moss coming out. Along with, let's see who left the game. I'm not sure. Here's a steal for St. Stephen's. Joni Spoonhunter with the shot. And she's got four points in the quarter, six for the game. There's her many horses down to Benet Nipwater. Her shot, not good. Rebound, St. Stephen's. Spoonhunter across the timeline, throws it out of bounds. Turnover, St. Stephen's. 2.53 to play third quarter. Eagles out of their locker room, back behind the scores table, watching things. Chiefs haven't got dressed yet. I'm sure they're going in after the third quarter. There's Inez Harris, throws it left side, right past Leila Seabaring, and out of bounds. That'll be turnover number 27 on the Lady Chiefs. 2.43 to play, third quarter. 36-20 ball game. Of course, we're live streaming this game at Wild Today at YouTube. St. Stephen's basketball, here's Spoon Hunter across the timeline. She'll dribble into the corner and be double teamed. Tried to find Williams, the ball went through her legs, picked up by High Walker. Michaela across the timeline, throws it right side and off the hand and out of bounds of Amaya Hermini horses. Turnover, Wyoming Indian. 2.24 to play as re-entering the game we're entering the game for the first time, Teresa Underwood, the senior for the Lady Chiefs. And she'll replace her many horses. St. Stephen's basketball, Lady Chiefs in the full court press. There's a steal, and then Wyoming Indian loses the ball out of bounds. That ball off Inez Harris. St. Stephen's retains possession of the basketball. Down court, stolen, Layla Seabaring, right to the hole, lays it up good. Six points for Layla Seabaring, and it's a 38-20 ball game. And then we'll get a turnover on St. Stephen's, and it'll be Lady Chiefs basketball again. So Lady Chiefs doing a nice job in this quarter, forcing turnovers, playing good defense. Here's High Walker, she'll inbound it, and leaving the layup short is Teresa Underwood. Coming out of the pack, Joan A. Spoonhunter, and then stealing it away from her is Inez Harris. Back to Spoonhunter, lay it up and good. And so a turnover each way on that possession. Here's Inez Harris to Seabaring. She'll go inside and walk with a basketball. 31 turnovers now in Wyoming Indian. On the other side, 33 turnovers on St. Stephen's. Here's Jenkins across the timeline. She'll go right to the hole and be fouled on the play, and that foul's gonna go on Benet Nipwater, her first. Nice move by Amanda Jenkins, who will go to the line and shoot a pair for the Lady Eagles. First one, good. Three points for Jenkins. 143 to play, third quarter. Keith Bowder leaving his seat. He's heading on down the court. I guess his assistant, Brandon Coffey, now is taking the place of Bowder. So Jenkins steps over the free throw line and will lose the second attempt. She's got three points. Wyoming Indian basketball. Here's Nipwater. She'll throw it long and it's gonna be taken away and stolen by Celista Yellow Bear, and then taking it right back, Teresa Underwood to Michaela Highwalker, now Seabaring. Back to Underwood, and we'll get a held ball. And the ball will stay with Wyoming Indian. 129 to play. Varsity Chiefs heading for their locker room. Here's Harris to High Walker, long two is good. A 
Michaela Highwalker with her first bucket of the game. And it's 40 to 23. Here's Celista Yellow Bear, not good. Taken away and rebounded by Underwood. And she'll walk with a basketball. So St. Stephen's basketball, 107 to play, third quarter. Taking the ball out, Spoon Hunter for the Lady Eagles. She'll bring it in to Madison Ridgely. And it'll go to Wyoming Indian as Ridgely touched the ball before it went out of bounds. Lady Chiefs basketball, 58 seconds to play, third quarter. Of course, next up, we'll have the Chiefs and Eagles. Boys basketball and the rematch. As St. Stephen's on their home court looks to avenge that December 30th loss, an 81 to 70 loss to the Chiefs. That was a great ball game. Benet Nipwater for three, not good. Rebound, Layla Seabaring. She'll take it inside strong and force the foul on Phelan Ridgely. Ridgely, foul number three. And to the line, Layla Seabaring. Seabaring, two shots. First one, good. Layla, five points in the quarter. Seven for the ball game. And it's a 41-23 lead for the Lady Chiefs. 21 point quarter for the Lady Chiefs and they needed it. Second free throw from Seabaring, nothing but net. And it's a 20 point lead. Here's Jenkins down court to Spoon Hunter. She'll dribble across the timeline, right side to Madison Ridgely. And we'll get a pushing foul outside by Teresa Underwood. Her first foul. A 19 point lead for the Lady Chiefs. 42-23. And with 41 seconds to play third quarter. Pass in to Phalene Ridgely. She'll leave her shot short. Rebound, Layla Seabaring. Quickly outside, Inez Harris. She'll miss the running one-hander. And Spoon Hunter with the rebound to Amanda Jenkins. Block shot, Nipwater for Wyoming Indian. Back the other way to Inez Harris. Harris with the long shot. And it's gonna be a long two-point shot as she's fouled on the play. And that foul gonna go on Amanda Jenkins for second. Got a young man in the house all the way from Pittsburgh, Kansas tonight. Shot up by Harris, not good. For the life of me, I can't figure out why anybody would leave Kansas in the wintertime. Second free throw by Harris is good. So nine points in the quarter for Inez Harris, and the lead is 20. Here's Madison Ridgely, near steal by Layla Seabaring, picked up by Madison Ridgely to Phelan Ridgely. She'll leave her shot short. Rebound, Benet Nipwater, four seconds. And the steal by Amanda Jenkins ends the offensive threat. But a big third quarter by the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs builds the lead to 20. It's Wyoming Indian 43, St. Stephen's 23. It says Wyoming Indian, St. Stephen's basketball on the Wind River Radio Network. Riverton's Hampton Inn and Suites is proud to sponsor our youth athletics in Fremont County. Fremont County School Athletics provide our youth timeless experiences and lessons that can lead to success for life. Setting goals, teamwork, and hard work make young athletes into good citizens. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, 
Let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Community Health Centers of Central Wyoming has locations across Fremont County ready to serve you at Dubois Medical Clinic, Riverton Community Health, and Lander Community Health Pediatrics. We accept all forms of insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare. Are you struggling to get medical care? Ask for their sliding fee scale. From family medicine to pediatrics, Community Health Centers are here to serve you. Call 307-463-7160 or visit chccw.org to schedule your appointment. St. Stephen's with the ball. They lose it on a turnover, and then Wyoming Indian gives it back on a turnover of their own. So fourth quarter underway here at St. Stephen's. Substitute in the game for the Lady Eagles is going to be Rocia Juarez. Juarez in the ball game for the Lady Eagles. Here's Jenkins down court, stolen away by her many horses. Bounce pass, then taken back by Jenkins on the good hustle play. To Cammie Williams, she'll drive inside, missed a shot. Rebound taken away by her many horses. To Layla Sunroads, and then another steal by Jenkins. Amanda doing a great job, puts the shot up, good. And that's just great effort. She's got five points in the ball game. Down court, Desi Seahair lays it up and good. See here now with nine points in the game. And the lead 45-25 as Jenkins passes it down court to Celista Yellow Bear. And the ball gonna be thrown out of bounds on a turnover by Yellow Bear. Eight points for Layla Seabaring. Four points for Taylor Trosper. 14 points for Inez Harris, and nine points for Desi Seahair. It's Wyoming Indian basketball. In the corner, Sun Rhodes to Jace Boyer. Back outside to Taylor Trosper. Six and a half minutes to play in this one. Lady Chiefs looking for another win and a 2-0 start in their conference season. There's a Maya her many horses, and we'll get a held ball, and it'll stay with the Lady Chiefs. 6.28 to play in this one. We'll get a foul this time on Wyoming, or I'm sorry, on St. Stephen's. And that'll go on Joni Spoonhunter, her first. So Seahair to the line, nine points. She is three for six at the line in the game. And she'll hit the free throw. So Desi C here now in double figures. Joining Inez Harris, who has a game high 14. Second free throw on the way for C here. It's not good, but Layla Sunroads pulls down the rebound. Sunroads inside, C here lays it up and good. Nice give and go there from Sunroads to C here. And another steal by Boyer. So Wyoming Indian taking advantage of turnovers and then Boyer's pass goes out of bounds for a turnover on the Lady Chiefs. Her substitutes back in, Phelan Ridgely, and Madison Ridgely in the game for St. Stephen's. Lady Eagles basketball. So Lady Eagles inbounded. There's Celista Yellow Bear and a steal by her many horses. Layup, not good. Rebound Sunroads. Lady Chiefs have missed a number of short layup type shots tonight. There's a rebound on the missed shot by Trosper for Jonay Spoonhunter. Left side, Amanda Jenkins. Her long three is good. Amanda Jenkins now with eight points. Back the other way, shot up, not good. Rebound Spoon Hunter with the long shot to Celista Yellow Bear is good. And that's four points for Yellow Bear. And the lead now 18 with 525 to play. There's a pass in the left wing to Sunroads. She'll miss the three, get a rebound back, find Desi Seahair who finds Boyer for the layup. 
Nice ball movement for the Lady Chiefs. Boyer now with four points. And the lead is 20, 50 to 30. Down court, steal by Desi Seher. And then stolen back by Jenkins to Jonay Spoonhunter. Spoonhunter now with 10 points in the ball game. And another steal by Spoonhunter. Spoonhunter gonna have her shot blocked by Layla Sunroads, it'll go out of bounds. So back in the ball game, Benet Nipwater, Inez Harris, Layla Seabaring, coming out, Desi C here, Jace Boyer, and Layla Sunroads. 4.43 to play, 18 point game. Lady Chiefs lead it 50 to 32. Here's a tipped ball out of bounds by Inez Harris. St. Stephen's basketball. Jenkins inbounds it, gets the ball back from Spoonhunter. Now right side to Jenkins. Inside, Cammy Williams will miss the turnaround shot. Coming out, Layla Seabaring on the run. She'll throw it inside to Amaya, her many horses. Nice move, but she'll miss the two-footer. Rebound, Spoonhunter. Kicks it out to Jenkins. 4.16 to play in this one. Of course, the Chiefs and Eagles next up here on the network. Long shot there by Spoonhunter. She'll get her own rebound back. And then we'll have a held ball. And the ball will stay with the Lady Eagles. Michaela Highwalker back in the game. She'll replace her many horses. 4.03 to play, 18 point lead. Pass in to Madison Ridgely. Now to Phelan Ridgely, she'll shoot an air ball. Rebound, Layla Seabaring. Down court, Taylor Trosper. Trosper all the way, lays it up, good. She went up and under on that one. The junior now with six points. Back the other way, near steal by Layla Seabaring. Wow, and they're gonna say that one went off Madison Ridgely. So another turnover on St. Stephen's. 3.45 to play. Lady Chiefs lead is 20, it's 52-32. Trosper down court, Inez Harris for three. She'll leave it short, front of the rim, rebound Seabaring. Underneath, Nipwater, and she'll be fouled from both sides. Foul, gonna go on failing Ridgely, her fourth. And that'll send Nipwater for free throws. Nipwater in this game, two points. First chance at a free throw. First one up, not good. And she'll get a second. Back in the game, the freshman, Larissa Seahare for St. Stephen's. Nipwater, second free throw is good. So Nipwater, three points in this contest. There's Joan A. Spoonhunter to Amanda Jenkins. Down to Cammie Williams. And Williams walks with the basketball. 42nd turnover on the Lady Eagles. Wyoming Indian basketball. Inez Harris, Taylor Trosper, Layla Seabaring, Benay Nipwater, and Michaela Highwalker on the floor. Pass inside, stolen away by St. Stevens. Down court, Amanda Jenkins lays it up and good. She's in double figures with 10 points. And it's 53-34. 3.08 to play in this one. There's Trosper. Right side to Harris, back to Trosper. Underneath Seabaring, she'll get double teamed and taken away by Joni Spoonhunter. Down court, Spoonhunter all the way to the hole, misses the shot. Rebound, Seabaring, she's out on the run to Harris, lay it up and good. Inez Harris, game high, 16 points in the game. 55-34, there's Jenkins with the baseball pass. Underneath to see here, her turnaround shot, not good, she'll get it back. Not good, and the rebound to Layla Seabaring. 
to Taylor Trosper. 226 to play. Trosper for three, it's good. And that's nine points for Taylor Trosper. 216 to play. Down court, Madison Ridgely running one-hander, not good. Rebound, Layla Seabaring. She'll throw behind her back. Roll it up and good for Inez Harris. That was pretty right there. 18 points. Back the other way. Jonay Spoonhunter. She'll be fouled on the play, and the Lady Chiefs have uh, put up 19 in the quarter, or 17 in the quarter, I apologize. And the lead is six, or 26. Second foul. On Benet Nipwater, and to the line, Jonay Spoonhunter. She'll miss the first free throw. St. Stephen's in this game, one of 11 at the free throw line. Second free throw coming up for Spoon Hunter. 153 to play, it's good. Spoon Hunter now with 11 points. And the lead is 25. Here's Inez Harris, left side to Trosper. Inside Benet Nipwater, and her little shot in the lane is good. Nipwater now with five points. Lady Chief shots have went in the second half. There's Yellow Bear, right side Spoon Hunter. Near steal by Harris as she tips the ball out of bounds. St. Stephen's basketball. 62-35. We've got over 100 viewers on YouTube at WOW today as we head in toward the boys game. There's a rebound by Underwood and a foul on St. Stephen's. It's Lady Chiefs, the number one team in Class 2A. That'll be the second foul on Joni Spoonhunter. St. Stephen's, one and 11 on the season. Pass inside to High Walker. Shot up, good. And that one by Nipwater. Benet Nipwater now at five in the quarter, seven for the game. 64-35. Seahair outside, shot up by Yellow Bear, not good. Rebound Harris. Inez Harris, coast to coast, lay it up and good. Inez Harris with 20 points. And it's 66-35. Back the other way, Spoon Spoonhunter. To Madison Ridgely, 37 seconds to play. Here's Ridgely inside. She'll uh, hit the nice nifty hook shot, but after taking, oh, maybe six, seven steps, turnover, St. Stephen's. Wyoming Indian ball as we coast inside 30 seconds in this ball game. Lady Chiefs gonna win again. 11 wins now as Layla Seabaring with the turnaround shot. She's got, I'm sorry, that was Michaela, Michaela Highwalker with her second bucket. Left side shot thrown up, not good by the Eagles. Rebound Yellow Bear, her shot not good. Rebound Nipwater, and then we'll get a St. Stephen's foul on the play. And I believe that one's gonna be on Juarez. Sixty-eight thirty-five, six seconds to play, and it will be the first foul on Juarez. So at the other end, Nipwater will shoot one plus the bonus. First one, good. Benet Nipwater, good basketball player. She's got eight points in the game, two for three at the line. Back in the game, Larissa Seahair, the freshman for St. Stephen's. Second free throw by Nipwater is good. Six seconds. Down court. Spoon Hunter running one hander. Not good at the buzzer. Final score Wyoming Indians 70, St. Stephen's 35. We'll be back with the Clicker Ticket post game show. This is Wyoming Indians St. Stephen's basketball. 
Hey, coming up, it's the Chiefs and Eagles on KWYW. In any sport, athletes face the chance of sustaining an injury. According to the Athletic Training Association, 90% of student athletes reported some sort of sports-related injury. What's more is 54% report playing while injured. For various reasons, sports-related injuries are increasingly leaving our youth at risk of exposure to opioid-based pain medication. FremontWhenTheGameSlowsDown.com is here to help navigate monitoring medication, social support, and suggestions on what to do when the game slows down. Brought to you by Fremont County Prevention Program. Is your resolution this year to be healthier? You may have made a commitment to improve your physical health, but don't forget about your financial health. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union is listed as one of the healthiest credit unions in the U.S. And we are the healthiest credit union in Wyoming, according to thepositaccounts.com. Don't risk having your accounts anywhere else. Become a member today and accomplish your first resolution by becoming healthier. Financially speaking, that is. Federally insured by NCUA. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. Gachi Rehabilitation and Wellness knows what it means to be on top of your game. For over 60 years, Gachi has led the field in providing physical therapy, occupational therapy, and wellness in Thermopolis and their facilities in Worland, Basin, Cody, and Shoshone. Whether you're recovering from an injury, deconditioned, post-stroke, or just looking to take control of your health, you'll find years of dedicated experience paired with personal care at Gachi Rehabilitation and Wellness. Learn more at gachi.org. Your car or truck is an investment. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Ticket to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288. Welcome back. Final score in this one, Wyoming Indians 70 and St. Stephen's 35. This is the Click It or Ticket postgame show. As we get Wyoming Indian and St. Stephen's coming up next, it'll be the rebound and the comeback attempt for the uh, St. Stephen's Eagles as they're going to seek revenge in this game over the Chiefs. But first, the final stats in this one. First for the Lady Eagles, they would score 10 points in the first half, and they would score 25 in the second half, and uh, Wyoming Indian would score 20 in the first half and 50 in the second half. They really got the offense going in the second half did Coach Alita Moss and the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs. Uh, turnovers, again, were the story in this one. 44 turnovers unofficially for the Lady Eagles and for Wyoming Indian, 10, 20, 35, 39 turnovers for the Lady Chiefs. But uh, Lady Chiefs led in scoring by Inez Harris. She really got it going. After the half, she had 15 points in the second half, 20 for the game, a game high 20. Desi Seher finishes with 13 points. Uh, Layla Seabaring with eight points, nine points for Benet Nipwater, nine points for Taylor Trosper, and four points each for Layla Sunroads, Michaela Highwalker, and Jace Boyer. Final score in this one, Wyoming Indians 70 and St. Stephen's 35. Our Papa Murphy's player of the game coming up after a break. We're uh, about 10 and a half minutes out from the starting lineups in the Chiefs and Eagles to a Southwest game. A big one coming up next on KWYW. High Plains Power is a touchstone energy cooperative. What does that mean for you as a Rural Electric Association member? It all comes down to seven principles. Open membership, one voice, one vote, member benefits, independence, education, cooperation, and community. To understand how it all works, we're headed back in time. In 1879, electricity was in major cities, but rural areas were out of luck. In 1935, President FDR made it possible for companies to build power lines to unserved areas. By the time we hit 1941, some 400 electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural America, just like High Plains Power. For more information, visit highplainspower.org.
Hi, this is Terry Banker. I minister at New Hope Christian Church in Lander, Wyoming. We want to support the kids of this area academically, athletically, and spiritually. Our address is 630 Mount Hope Drive. Come to Sunday School at 930 and our worship service at 1045. Welcome back as the click it or ticket post game continues. Wyoming Indian 10 of 17 at the free throw line in this game. St. Stephen's 2 of 12 at the free throw line. Our Papa Murphy's players of the game day, first for St. Stephen's with 10 points and eight in the second half. Uh, we're gonna give it to Amanda Jenkins, the sophomore guard for the Lady Eagles. Congratulations. She will get a pizza from Papa Murphy's and also Wyoming Indian player of the game tonight. She had nine steals in the contest, set up many shots uh, by the uh, Lady Chiefs. Junior Layla Seabaring, our Papa Murphy's player of the game. Congratulations to Layla Seabaring and Amanda Jenkins, our players of the game. And thank you to Papa Murphy's for bringing us the players of the game. We'll be back in about a minute. We'll break down the next contest. It'll be Wyoming Indian and St. Stephen's coming up in 2A Boys Southwest Conference action. This is a big game, folks, and St. Stephen's looking to avenge a loss back on December 30th. We'll be back with the pregame show. This is Wyoming Indian Basketball on KWYW. Former University of Wyoming quarterback Josh Allen is worthy of Wyoming. 23 plays into my first start here at the University of Wyoming. I dropped back, kind of went through a progression, I saw the middle of the field kind of open up. I decided to lower my shoulder. His helmet went straight into my collarbone here. We landed on the 20 yard line. At that moment, I knew something was really bad. So Josh's collarbone was pretty bad. He had broken in multiple places and it required um, hardware fixation with the plate in order to get it back together. It's devastating news to me and my family just knowing that, you know, it could have ended 23 plays in. We had no question whether we could perform the surgery here given our wider range of uh, varying subspecialties within orthopedics. I would recommend Premier Bone and Joint Centers. The thing that made me feel really comfortable with them was they made it feel like your own family. I think he'll have no problem performing in the NFL. His rehab and his recovery have uh, done very well and I don't see any restrictions on him whatsoever. They want the best for you and they won't steer you wrong. Let us show you why we're worthy of Wyoming. Riverton Vision Center offers comprehensive eye health exams, highly trained staff, and a large selection of fashion eyewear and sunglasses. Dr. Ballard, Dr. Hinkle, and Dr. Frazier offer over 70 years of experience. Call Riverton Vision Center at 856-9451 to schedule an appointment today. When repairs are complete after a collision, you expect your car, SUV, or truck to look like new. That's the service you'll receive at Stork Auto Body in Riverton. Professionalism and meticulous attention to detail. You can depend on Stork Auto Body, 841 Mini Web Avenue, Riverton. Welcome back. This is the pregame show on the network, and it's brought to you by Bailey Enterprises, and we'll get the uh, pregame frame up here. Huh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Pre-game show. There's Layla Seabaring. Will you tell her to go get her certificate? All right. Good job. All right. This is the pre-game show. About five and a half minutes to go. And Wyoming Indian Chiefs, will they come in two and six on the season? 1-0 in conference play, and that was that December 30th uh, win over uh, the uh, St. Stephen's Eagles at Ethody. That was an 81-70 ball game. Uh, in that game, Jordan Barraza with 29 points and 11 rebounds, and he's leading the state in scoring at 29.3 points a game. The big man for the Eagles having himself a special season. The Wyoming Indian, they're hoping to go to 2-0 in the conference season. It's been a struggle for these teams as they attempt to get back out on the court and show that uh, that year of COVID is behind them. But uh, now in another phase of this uh, pandemic, uh, Wyoming Indian coming in 1-0 in conference play, 2-6 overall. They score 59.8 points a game and give up 66 points a game. Uh, they shoot 38% from the field, 54% at the free throw line and they won this uh, first matchup between these two teams, 81-70 to 70, on December 30th at Alfred Redmond Senior 
Gymnasium in Ethity. For St. Stephen's, they come in averaging 57.8 points a game, and they give up 59.6 points a game. They shoot 54% from the field, 68% at the free throw line, and as I said, nine and four on the season. Good season for Coach Ricky Blackburn and his Eagles team, and they're looking for their first conference win of the season tonight. This uh, St. Stephen's team uh, led in scoring, as I said, by Jordan Barraza, 29.3 points a game, 10.9 rebounds, 4.9 blocks, 1.7 assists, and 1.7 steals for Barraza, having himself quite the year already. Also scoring in double figures, Tyron Ridgely at 11.4 points a game, 3.6 assists and 4.5 rebounds per contest. Steven Lone Dog comes in averaging 10.7 points a game. Also uh, six points a game for Dane Antelope and J. Ron Rhodes coming in at five and a half points and 5.1 rebounds. This uh, St. Stephen's team, they're a pretty good ball club and they've had their way and competed very well against 2A and 3A teams this year. For Coach Craig Ferris, uh, his team led in scoring so far by the senior. He's been around forever. Just say the name Tough Seabaring and everybody goes, man, is he still playing? Well, yeah, he's been starting off and on since his freshman year. Tough enjoying his uh, best offensive season, averaging 15.7 points a game, six and a half rebounds, three assists per game and 2.3 steals. Those lead Wyoming Indian in all categories um, for this team. Uh, next up we have at 8.8 .8 points a game, Isaiah Burnett, he will not play tonight. 8.8 .8 points and four rebounds. Six points a game for Jarrell Tillman, he will not play tonight for the Wyoming Indian Chiefs. Uh, three and a half points a game for Jaquin Jones. He also pulls down three and a half rebounds. Tyson Sounding Sides will get another start tonight. Five or 4.8 points a game, 3.8 rebounds for Sounding Sides. Alan Redman at 4.7 points a game and 5.2 rebounds. And the other double figure score, and he went off in that game on December 30th. It was uh, um, Brandon Coffey scoring 23 points in that contest against St. Stephen's. He's averaging 12 points a game, 3.2 rebounds, 2.2 assists, and 1.6 steals. Brandon Coffey getting another start tonight, but enjoying an outstanding season is Brandon Coffey, the junior for the Chiefs. Next up, it's Wyoming Indian and St. Stephen's with the starting lineups, and we'll be back. Matthew Hauser, Cody Beers here on a Friday night, and we'll be back for more Wyoming Indian and St. Stephen's basketball coming up on KWYW 99.1 FM. We're streaming live on YouTube at Wild Today. The choice is yours. Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card lets you choose from 5% off instantly at the register or special financing on qualifying purchases. That means no forms, no waiting, no rebates. You can choose 5% off instantly with your Sutherland's Credit Card. Got a big project? Choose special financing. The choice is yours with Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card. Subject to credit approval, minimum monthly payment required. See store for details only at Sutherland's. Welcome back as we finish up the pregame show and we get ready for the starting lineups and the public address announcer tonight, uh, St. Stephen's uh, Activities Director and Principal, Matt Mortimer. First for the Wyoming Indian Chiefs, coached by Craig Ferris, Mike Highwalker and Norman Willow. First starter, the senior, Tough Seabaring. Second starter, a junior, Brandon Coffey coming out. Those are your double figure scorers. Third starter, a junior, Jaquin Jones. Fourth starter, a junior, Tyson Sounding Sides. And the final starter, Jared Ferris, the senior, making his first start after he got his first play of the second semester last week. So it'll be Ferris, Sounding Sides, Jaquin Jones, Brandon Coffey, and Tough Seabaring. First up, for the St. Stephen's Eagles. Caden Lone Dog, the first starter. Second starter, Tyron Ridgely. Next starter, Stephen Lone Dog comes out. 
the four starter, Jaron Rhodes. Actually, Jordan Barraza coming out next. And the fifth starter, Dane Antelope. So that'll be a change from December 30th as Dane Antelope, Jordan Barraza, Stephen Lodendog, Tyron Ridgely, and Caden Lone Dog will start for the St. Stephen's Eagles. Of course, the Eagles coached by Ricky Blackburn. Played his high school ball in Riverton, but Ricky, the longtime coach out here at St. Stephen's. Ricky's been around this program for years. It'll be Barraza stepping in to jump it up against his friend, Tough Seabaron. Wyoming Indian in the black road uniforms and St. Stephen's in their home whites. And Barraza wins the tip, but he'll tip it out of bounds and a leap by Caden Lone Dog, not enough. It'll be a turnover on St. Stephen's. Just underway as we get ready to go. It'll be sounding sides bringing it in to Jaquin Jones. Jones, top of the key in the corner, tough C bearing, he'll rise from 10, it's good. And the Chiefs on the board, two nothing. Halftime score from Lander, it's Powell 21 and Lander 17 in boys action. We're gonna get a foul on Wyoming Indian. It'll be the first foul on Jared Ferris. St. Stephen's basketball, here's outside Ridgely for three. It does not go, but we'll get a push on Jared Ferris. And quickly, Ferris with two personal fouls. We did have a final score in from Lander. It was the Lander Valley High School Lady Tigers 47 and the Powell Lady Panthers 25. There's a shot not good by St. Stevens and coming away Wyoming Indian. Here's Jones in the corner to Coffee. Brandon Coffey has been hot at times. Man, when he is hot, everything goes. Here's Coffey, top of the key, left side on the wing, and thrown away as Seabaring right into the hands of Dane Antelope. And then over and back as Antelope crossed the timeline, pitched it back to Ridgely, and it'll be a violation and a turnover on the Eagles. 7.09 to play first quarter. 2-0 ball game as the Chiefs lead it early here. Here's Brandon Coffey with the basketball, top of the key. St. Stephen's in the zone defense. It's a 2-3. Underneath, nice pass from Tyson Sounding Sides to Jaquin Jones. He'll lay it up and good. 4-0 Chiefs. Left side, Ridgely. He'll be double teamed in the corner to Antelope. Back outside, Ridgely. Ridgely underneath, Barraza. Turnaround, Jay is nothing but net for the big man for St. Stephens. Four to two ball game. Left side, Brandon Coffey, he'll drive inside, kick it out to Seabaring. Now underneath, Ferris, and he'll be fouled on the play by Tyron Ridgely. And to the line, Jared Ferris will go for free throws. 6.31 to play, first quarter. Ferris to the line. He'll shoot two. Ferris, first free throw on the way is good. So Ferris gives Wyoming Indian a 5-2 lead just a minute and a half into this ball game. Second free throw from Ferris. A knuckleball, not good, rebound Ridgely. And St. Stephen's out on the run. Caden Lone Dog double teamed, he'll throw underneath to Steven Lone Dog, his shot good. Lone Dog's first bucket, and it's 5-4. Here's Jones back the other way, being hounded. Give him go, though, tough C bearing to Jaquin Jones, he'll lay it up and good. 7-4 ball game, and now there's a few more fans who have snuck into the building. Ball goes out of bounds, it'll go to Wyoming Indian on the Eagles turnover. And we'll get a quick timeout. 32nd variety, 5.59 to go first quarter. It's Wyoming Indian seven and St. Stephen's four. There are two ways to buy four by four gear, the expensive way and the smart way. The expensive way is when you buy a new truck or SUV and the dealer sells you the brush guard, the heavy duty bumpers, the steps, lights, winch, you name it. 
He rolls it all in with your loan into your monthly payment. But here's the smart way. Shop at Wyoming 4x4, where you get expert advice from Dan, quality gear, professional installation, all for a whole lot less than you'd spend at a car dealer. Wyoming 4x4 on North Federal and Riverton. The smart way to roll. Welcome back. 5.59 to play first quarter. 7-4 ball game. As the Chiefs lead this one by three, they'll be Wyoming Indian basketball. As I said, St. Stephen's the home team tonight. We're at the mission. And Wyoming Indian out in those black uniforms. And they're very nice. Here's the third foul now on Jared Ferris. So barely two minutes into this game and Ferris with three personal fouls. St. Stephen's basketball for Stephen Lone Dog. Yeah, should have been over and back, not called. Here's Dane Antelope inside with the nifty move. Not good, rebound, tough Seabury. Back down court, Jaquin Jones to Ferris. He'll lose the ball off Dane Antelope and out of bounds. It'll stay with the Chiefs. So in the game for the first time for Wyoming Indian is going to be Jason Slowbear. And coming out with those three fouls is Jared Ferris. Wyoming Indian basketball, here's Jones to Seabaring. Tough inside, strong move. Good defense by Antelope. And then we'll end up with a held ball between Barraza and Tyson Sounding Sides. St. Stephen's basketball in the alternating possession. Chiefs in that 2-2-1 full court press. There's Jones to Barraza. Jordan Barraza, beautiful pass to Antelope, lays it up and good. What a beauty of a pass from Jordan Barraza to Dane Antelope. 7-6 ball game. Chiefs by one. They've led the whole way. Here's sounding sides from 10. Not good. Rebound, Barraza. Outlet pass to Ridgely. Long three on the way. Not good. And coming up with the rebound is sounding sides. He'll find coffee. And then we'll get a holding foul on St. Stephen's. Second team foul and the first on Stephen Lone Dog. So three fouls on Wyoming Indian, two on St. Stephen's. Wyoming Indian basketball. There's Coffee to Jones. Jones dribbles left side, pulls up for three. It's good. Jaquin Jones getting his offensive game going. He's got seven. And it's 10 to six, Wyoming Indian. Back the other way, three pointer put up by Steven Lone Dog, not good. Rebound Ridgely, back to Barraza, his three, not good. Rebound Sounding Sides. He'll kick it off to Jones. Jones in the lane, nice pass, Slowberry lays it up and good. Jaquin Jones making the plays through the net and on the bounce pass. And it's 12 5. Here's a turnover. Off Dane Antelope, and out of bounds. It'll be turnover number four on the Eagles. So Steven Lone Dog comes out of the game. And now in the game for the first time, number 11, I think. Yeah, number 11. I'm not sure who that is for the St. Stephen's Eagles. It's going to be Adrian Seahare. In the corner, Brandon Coffey, three-pointer, not good. Another rebound, Barraza to Ridgely. Now Caden Lone Dog. Lone Dog, left side to Barraza. Jordan underneath, Caden Lone Dog, 360 move. Left the shot short, Lone Dog gets it back to Tyron Ridgely. He'll go inside, split the defense, and draw the foul with 335 to play first quarter. Foul's going to be the first on Tough Seabury. Fourth team foul on the Chiefs. And to the line, Tyron Ridgely. He'll shoot two. Ridgely eyes it, fires it, and knocks it down. So 12-6 ball game. 3.35 to play first quarter. Ridgely back up there. It's a 12-7 ball game. Ridgely, second shot. In and out, rebound, put back, Antelope, rebound Barraza, and his shot goes on the play. Four points for Jordan Barraza, and it's a three-point game. 
12-9. Here's Tuff Seabaring inside, and he'll draw the foul on Jordan Barraza. Nifty move, an up and under move by Tuff Seabaring. And that'll be the first foul on Jordan Barraza. Third team foul on the Eagles. And Tuff Seabaring now will shoot a pair. First one on the way is good. In the game for Wyoming Indian, number 45, Aubrey McCabe. Second shot is good for Tough. He's got four points, and it's 14-9 Chiefs to Ridgely. Now see here, back to Ridgely. Inside move is good, but he'll be called for the player control foul. Then he gives it to the official, Tyron Ridgely. Shot does not count. And that'll be the second foul on Ridgely. Ridgely got himself in foul trouble the first time these teams played. There's Jones, 3.09 to play, left side Coffee. He'll pop the three, it's good. First shot for Brandon Coffee in the game. And it's a three. Now down on the court, we've got a held ball between Slow Bear and Ridgely. 17-9, Chiefs lead as the Chiefs get the ball back on the alternating possession after the held ball. We're gonna get a substitute coming in the game for Wyoming Indian. And it'll be Bradlin Little Yellow Man in the game for the first time. Haven't seen Yellow Man play this year. Yellow Man with the ball, left side to Coffey. Coffey drives left side, kicks it to Jones. Now to Little Yellow Man, he'll drive the lane on Barraza. His shot nearly goes. Rebound, taken away that time by Aubrey McCabe, and we'll get a foul on St. Stephens. The foul's gonna go on Caden Lone Dog, his first. That'll be team foul number five on the Eagles. So Chiefs basketball, this game being played at the mission tonight. Jaquin Jones, five second count. It'll be a turnover on the Chiefs, their second. St. Stephen's basketball. Adrian Seher brings the ball inbounds to Lone Dog. And then Little Ye Yellow Man nearly with a steal. So off the bench, hustling is Bradlin Little Yellow Man. Pass down court to Dane Antelope. Antelope will bring it back outside to Seher. Right side Lone Dog. His three pointer on the way is an air ball. And knocking the ball out of bounds is Antelope. Turnover to Wyoming Indian. Five turnovers on St. Stephen's here in this first quarter. Here's Jones, right side, 209 to play, 17-9 lead for the Chiefs. Tough C bearing, guarded closely by Barraza. He'll bring it inside to McCabe. Cross court past Jaquin Jones. Now Brandon Coffey will drive all the way to the hole, lay it up around Barraza. It's good. Turnover, and a yeah, turnover on St. Stephen's as Ridgely walks with a basketball. And it'll be Wyoming Indian basketball. Chiefs come out with their A game tonight, and they're missing some players. 19-9, inside pass, tough Seabaring on the inbounds. Weigh it up and good, and that's six points for Tough. Well, they're saying Hunter Lone Dog now is number 31. Okay, well, we'll go with that. Here's Dane Antelope with the layup. And Antelope with four points for St. Stephen's. 21-11. I'm just going off the program, Ricky. I'm sorry. Here's a held ball between Jones and Caden Lone Dog. 127 to play first quarter. 21-11 ball game. Chiefs by 10. Here's Steven Lone Dog. He'll bring it in to Ridgely. Now to Barraza. Barraza quickly to Antelope. 
Nice bounce pass, but missed by Caden Lone Dog, and that's a turnover, number seven on St. Stevens. Back down court, here's Tough Seabaring. Tried to bounce it, picked up by Lone Dog. To Jaquin Jones, three-pointer is good. Jaquin feeling it, he's got 10 in the first quarter tonight. 24-11 ball game. That's the offense they've needed from that young man. Here's Barraza, three-pointer, not good. And the ball gonna go off tough Seabaring and out of bounds. Thank you. Did you see what his name is listed at in, the, in here? Okay. All right. Thank you. So it is uh, Hunter Lone Dog. All right. So I didn't see who made that shot. Did you? Barraza with the basket for St. Stephen's. And Aubrey McCabe returns the favor with his first bucket. And it'll be St. Stephen's basketball with 33 seconds to play. I just had a note passed to me from the Lady Chiefs saying Hunter Lone Dog is number 31 and I've been calling him uh, uh, Bradlin Little Yellow Man, so I apologize for that. Hunter Lone Dog, down court. Steven Lone Dog for St. Stevens. Nice move inside, and he'll hit the shot. So four points for Lone Dog, and it's a 26-15 ball game. So Hunter Lone Dog tries to throw it inside. Pass stolen away by Ridgely, down court. Steven Lone Dog misses the layup. Rebound Seabaron. Tough on the run outside Brandon Coffey. He'll take it inside at the buzzer. Not good. We've played a quarter. Good offensive quarter for Wyoming Indian. They lead it 26-15 over the St. Stephen's Eagles. This is Fremont County Basketball on the Wind River Radio Network. A proud sponsor of this broadcast is Bailey Enterprises. For over 50 years, Bailey has become the name you can trust. With pit stop travel centers, you can fuel up and stock up on trip snacks at locations all over Fremont County. You can also put your trust in Bailey Tire and Auto for service to keep handy for those times when your luck runs out on the road. Refresh at the Speedway Cafe with a dine-in meal or a round of carry-out with a variety of specials to keep you going. Go with Bailey. During winter storms, it doesn't take long for roads to turn slick. Snowfall is often accompanied by high winds, and blowing and drifting snow can make it difficult to see the road. Speed limits are based on dry pavement conditions and good visibility. Be ready to reduce speed and increase following distance. Crashes are twice as likely to happen when it's slick out, and it's usually because someone is driving too fast for conditions. Remember, when there's ice and snow, take it slow. This message is brought to you by YDOT. Welcome back, one quarter in the books. It's Wyoming Indian 26 and the St. Stevens Eagles 15. I hey, appreciate everyone tuning in tonight on the network. 26-15 ball game, it's Wyoming Indian basketball as Hunter Lone Dog brings the ball across the timeline. Dribbles left side, finds Jaquin Jones. Jones on the dribble already with 10 points his best offensive output of the season. Jones being hounded by Barraza and we'll get a timeout taken by Wyoming Indian coach Craig Ferris. 7.43 to play first half. It's Wyoming Indian 26, St. Stephen's 15. Central Wyoming College now offers Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in Early Childhood Education and Organizational Management and Leadership with an emphasis in Outdoor Education, Tribal Leadership, or Business and Entrepreneurial Leadership. CWC offers three ways to learn, online, virtual, and in person. Learn, grow, lead, and advance at Central Wyoming College. CWC is leading the way with expanded programs in the Bachelor of Applied Science degree. Welcome back, 7.43 to play. First half, 11 point game. Pass in from Darian Augustine in the game to Tyson Sounding Sides on the out of bounds play and Sounding Sides with the nifty little turnaround J in the lane. It's 28-15. 
There's Steven Lone Dog to Tyron Ridgely. Down court, Caden Lone Dog. Left side, Barraza. Up and under, misses it. Rebound, Jaquin Jones. Barraza could have went straight up. Tried to go up and under. There's Jones and a blocked shot by Barraza. Down to Tyron Ridgely. St. Stephen's basketball. Right side, Steven Lone Dog. Three-pointer on the way is gonna be short. And coming away, Tyson Sounding Sides. To Jones. Jones back the other way. Right side, Sounding Sides. Now Hunter Lone Dog. In the lane, gonna be fouled, shot up, not good. Rebound Barraza. To Ridgely, and now Caden Lone Dog. To Dane Antelope. Antelope runs it down. Double teamed in the corner. Cross court pass, back to Tyron Ridgely for three, good. Tyron Ridgely, his first bucket, he's got four points and it's a 10 point game. And then nearly losing the ball is Augustine over in front of the St. Stephen's bench. Round the horn, Jason Slowbear for three. That's good. Haven't seen that range out of Slowbear before, but he's got five points. And then a steal, Hunter Lone Dog to Darian Augustine, the freshman nearly makes the shot. Rebound, Caden Lone Dog. Back to Barraza, he'll go right to the hole, lay it up good. Jordan Barraza is one of those players that makes you go ooh and ah a little bit. Here's Augustine back the other way, long three, right in front of the St. Stephen's bench. Money, 34-20 to Barraza. Right side, Ridgely, long three, good. And this is what we expected. There's four threes in the quarter. 34-23, Wyoming Indian. Left side, Augustine. He'll drive in the lane and walk with the basketball. Turnover on the Chiefs, they're fourth. Jason Slowbear comes out of the game and back in is Coffey. Also tough back in the game and leaving is Augustine. So nice job by the Wyoming Indian bench. And a pass down court by Ridgely. Just goes out of bounds on the other end of the court. Turnover, Eagles, their eighth. 34-23, five and a half minutes to play. It'll be Wyoming Indian basketball. Hunter Lone Dog with the ball out of bounds. Brings it in to Jaquin Jones. Two Tyson sounding sides, lays it up and good. And that's, that's a beautiful basketball there. Take the drive. When the defense comes to you, pass it off. Here's Steven Lone Dog on the wild drive. Not good. Rebound, Seabaring. Tough. Down court in the lane. Going to go one on one. Could have been a foul. No call. Shot was short. And then double dribbling the basketball is Tyron Ridgely. Substitute coming in for St. Stephen's. It'll be Nemo Divers in the game for the first time. And sitting down, Dane Antelope. So Wyoming Indian basketball. There's the ball in to Lone Dog. Pass underneath, Tyson sounding sides. Turn around jumper on Ridgely, not good. Brandon Coffey on the boards, tips it out. Too tough, lay it up and good. What a drive by Tough Seabaring. He's got eight points. And it's 38-23. Back the other way, kicked ball by Jaquin Jones as Divers tried to find a wide open Steven Lone Dog on the other side. Great defense that time by the Chiefs. We'll get a substitute coming in the game for St. Stephen's. It'll be Adrian Seher and Levin his Lone Dog. Near steal by sounding sides. Barraza picks it up, lays it up and good. So Barraza now in double figures with 10 and it's 38-25 Chiefs. Here's Jaquin Jones on the drive. He'll draw the foul. Jones doing a nice job. He's smiling a bit tonight. That's good to see. And the foul gonna go on Adrian C here, his first. So to the line, Jaquin Jones. He'll shoot two. Jaquin bounces it, eyes it, fires it, and knocks it down. 11 points for the junior. 
A few more fans have sneaked into the facility sitting upstairs. <clears throat> you can see them on your screen. Some of them are players, but some of them not so much. So here's Jones, second free throw on the way. It's good. 12 points for Jaquin Jones. 426 to play. Here's C, I'm sorry, uh, Divers down court. He'll turn it over. That'll be nine turnovers on the Eagles. 15 point lead for Wyoming Indian, 423 to play. It's 40 to 23. Back the other way, nice pass. Jaquin Jones, lay it up good for Tyson Sounding Sides. He's got six. Now Sounding Sides with the near steal. Cross court pass stolen away by Brandon Coffey. Coffey down court, tried to find Hunter Lone Dog and the ball goes off his hand and out of bounds. Turnover number six on the Chiefs. Timeout, St. Stevens, Ricky Blackburn says, let's talk this over. 406 to play first half. It's Wyoming Indian 42, St. Stevens 25. From Fremont Therapy Group, and we're going to be talking about running analysis. Running analysis has three components to it. Obviously, you look at the running part. Um, that's kind of the gait pattern, looking at how well they strike the ground. The next part looks at how strong they are, their legs, also how flexible they are. There are certain muscles that become tight uh, the more you run. And then the last part, it's looking at how well you move. So you're looking at ways to help you reduce your chance of injury. Come on in, you're gonna love it. We'll get you on the treadmill and uh, start the process. Why should your new floor come from Carpet One? Because we're passionate about the spaces our neighbors call home. We're part of your community, and we're also part of the world's largest cooperative of independently owned and operated flooring stores. So you can be sure you'll get great selection and outstanding value with every installation. Whether it's carpet, hardwood, tile, or luxury vinyl, our experts take the guesswork out of choosing the right floor. We're your local Carpet One Floor and Home, the one store for your perfect floor. Barraza with the drive and layup. He's got 12 points. Back the other way, Brandon Coffey with the drive. He'll hit the shot and the, get the foul. And we'll see who that one's on. I believe it's on Dane Antelope, his first. And Brandon Coffey now with seven points and a chance at a three-point play. So Coffey at the line, eyes it, fires it, and hits it. Eight points for Brandon Coffey. 45-27, the Chiefs with the big lead of 18. Here's Lone Dog and a steal by Coffey. He'll throw it right back to Lone Dog. Up and under shot, not good. Rebound Hunter Lone Dog. Hunter in the lane. Finds Tyson sounding sides. Turn around Jay, not good. Rebound Dane Antelope to Tyron Ridgely. Back to Antelope. He'll walk with the basketball, no call. And then we'll get a held ball as Hunter Lone Dog and Jaquin Jones with the double team. Chiefs Nation basketball, here's Caden Lone Dog. Left side shot by Barraza, not good. Rebound, tough C bearing to Hunter Lone Dog, laid up and good. Hunter Lone Dog's first basket, and it's 47-27. There's Barraza back the other way, shot up, not good, gets his rebound, and the putback. And a timeout. Nope, they're gonna say Wyoming Indians stepped over the line. Turnover Chiefs, number seven. There's Antelope. He'll bring the ball in to Caden Lone Dog and he'll miss the layup. Rebound, Jaquin Jones. Jaquin's three and two break to Hunter Lone Dog. Back to Coffey. His shot not good. Rebound, tough Seabury. Chiefs will set it up. Right side, Jaquin Jones. Three pointer, not good. And Barraza with the rebound to Tyron Ridgely. 
Left side, Caden Lone Dog. Nice pass, Steven Lone Dog. His shot not good. Rebound, put back, and the ball is stuck in the rim for Dane Antelope. So Antelope going to shoot free throws. Darian Augustine jumps up and gets the ball down. And Dane Antelope will go to the line as it's foul number one on Jaquin Jones. 47-29. And Dane Antelope at the line. Left-hander, shot not good for Antelope. Four points, and now he'll look for five. Second free throw by Antelope is good. So five points for Dane Antelope. Chiefs lead is 17, 229 to play in this first half. Here's Coffey on the nifty move in the lane. It's good. 10 points for Brandon Coffey. And we'll get a foul on Hunter Lone Dog. That'll be his first. And now to the line, Caden Lone Dog shooting one plus the bonus. So Lone Dog steps to the line. He'll eye it, fire it, and miss it. Rebound Jaquin Jones. Chiefs basketball, here's Coffey out near the bench. Back to Jones on the left side. Two Hunter Lone Dog, he'll nearly lose it. Picked up by Jaquin Jones. Jones to Hunter Lone Dog in the lane. He'll go to the hole and draw the foul on St. Stephen's. So Hunter Lone Dog in his first varsity action of the year draws the foul on Dane Antelope. It'll be his second. And to the line, Hunter Lone Dog. Lone Dog, first free throw, not good. He'll get a second. Hunter Lone Dog, two points, and he'll miss the shot. Rebound, Antelope. Down court, Barraza, turnaround shot, good. Jordan Barraza, 10 points in the quarter. He's got 16 in the game, and it's 49-32. Chiefs by 17. Outside, turnover for Wyoming Indian, down court, Caden Lone Dog behind his back to Tyrone Ridgely. Ridgely wanted the shot, back to Caden Lone Dog. Lone Dog inside, little baby hook, not good. And then Hunter Lone Dog gonna be fouled on the play by Caden Lone Dog. That'll be the second on Caden Lone Dog. And the Chiefs will now go to the line. So two points in the game for Hunter Lone Dog. He's 0 for 2 at the line. And in the game for the first time for the Chiefs. Let's see who that is. That's not Taryn Martell. I'm not sure who that is. I did get a different roster from Craig Ferris. Long three put up. And Lone Dog with his bucket. It's good, he's got four points in the first half. Here's Tyron Ridgely for three, not good. And coming out, number 23, down to Augustine, he'll lay it up and good. Darian Augustine with five points, and it's 53-32. There's Barraza being double teamed, and then he'll get fouled on the play. Let's see here. to the line, Barraza. That'll be the first foul on Taryn Martell. And Barraza hits the free throw. So it is Taryn Martell in the game. I was thinking of Ryan Martell. 
Martel or Barraza's second free throw is good. It's also known as Bears. Just got a message. Left side, Brandon Coffey running one-hander is good. Coffey got 12 points in the game and it's 55-34 Chiefs. Here's Dane Antelope back the other way to Barraza. 21 point lead for the Chiefs. Final 30 seconds, first half. Caden Lone Dog, top of the key. He'll throw it right side, nearly stolen by Augustine to Steven Lone Dog, now into Barraza. Double team on Barraza behind his back to Lone Dog. Now to Ridgely, one foot jumper, just inside the bucket. It's good, and that's nine points for Ridgely. Six seconds, steal, Barraza. And we'll get a timeout by St. Stephens. Wyoming Indian 55. St. Stephens 36. It's a 30 second timeout. We'll be back on the Wind River Radio Network. When you purchase your car, do you know if you got the best payment possible? The answer is probably no. Oftentimes, your loan is packed with additional charges that can drive your monthly payment higher than it should be, costing you thousands of dollars more for your car. Hi, this is Patty, and here is your second chance to get the payment you deserve. Visit Atlantic City Federal Credit Union today for a courtesy loan review. We've helped our members save money by refinancing their vehicle with us. Now it's your turn. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. Welcome back, four seconds to play, first half. It's a 55-36 lead for the Chiefs here at the St. Stephen's High School. And St. Stephen's gonna have to go three quarters of the court as Dane Antelope takes the ball out of bounds. I'm expecting a Josh Allen type rainbow shot here. Antelope, two-handed pass into Caden Lone Dog. He'll stop, pop the three, not good. Halfway through this 2A Southwest Conference game, it's Wyoming Indian 55, St. Stephen's 36. We'll be back with a halftime show brought to you by wildtoday.com. I'm Cody Beers, joined by Matthew Hauser on a Friday night. We'll be back. Why should you choose Lander Medical Clinic or Western Family Care for your health care? In addition to four locations in Fremont County, they also provide telehealth. Telehealth can be your go-to answer when you're out of town, on the road, or just can't get to urgent care. All you need is a good internet connection. To schedule a telehealth appointment, call 332-3941 today. That's 332-3941. Lander Medical Clinic and Western Family Care. With telehealth, they're putting your health first every time. At Teton Therapy, our people make the difference. You can live pain free. The amazing staff at Teton Therapy can help in Lander and Riverton. Heinz General Store has been the grocery store of choice for the Fort Washakie area since 1945. For this week's special, see their website at HeinzGeneralStore.net. And for convenient shopping this winter, click on Heinz Online, download the app, and shop in the comfort of home. Schedule a convenient pickup time, and the team at Heinz General Store will do the rest. Heinz General Store is a proud sponsor of Wyoming Indian Basketball. Let's go, Chiefs! Welcome back, halftime score in this one. Wyoming Indian 55 after a 29 point second quarter. St. Stephen's 36. A lot of offense in this one and uh, actually a much cleaner game than we saw in the first game tonight as the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs with the big win tonight. Uh, 
that uh, score and I'll just uh, open the book back up and we'll get it here on the record. Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs uh, 70 tonight. Uh, St. Stephen's 35, our players of the game, Amanda Jenkins and Layla Seabaring. They each get a pizza from Papa Murphy's tonight. Halftime score here in the boys game. It's Wyoming Indian 55 and St. Stephen's 36. It was a 29-21 second quarter for the Chiefs after a 26-15 first quarter for the Chiefs. And a big lead here of 29 for the Chiefs at the end of the first half. For, um, St. Stephen's in the first half, nine points for Tyron Ridgely. He had a pair of threes, four points for Stephen Lone Dog, five points for Dane Antelope, and a game high 18 points, including 12 in the second quarter for Jordan Barraza. He was nothing short of amazing. He's a very good basketball player. Could be a star at whatever level he wanted to play in Wyoming high school basketball. Jordan Barraza, a game high 18 points. For Wyoming Indian, five points for Darian Augustine. He had a three in that second quarter, all five in the second quarter. Jason Slobear had five points in the first half. He had a three in the second quarter. Eight first half points for Tuff Seabaring. 12 first half points, including a first quarter three for Brandon Coffey. 12 points for Jaquin Jones in his biggest offensive output of the season. Six points for Tyson Sounding Sides, all in the second quarter. Uh, let's see. Uh, we had uh, one point for Jared Ferris, who had to sit out much of the first half with those three personal fouls. It was Hunter Lone Dog with four points in the first half, and Aubrey McCabe with two points off the bench. Six of seven free throw shooting for Wyoming Indian and for St. Stevens. They were one for two in the first quarter, and they were three for four in the second, so that's four for six in the ball game for the St. Stevens Eagles. St. Stevens, Wyoming Indian. Well, for Wyoming Indian, they will not play tomorrow as Wind River canceled all sporting events this weekend. I'll be at Riverton High School tomorrow, at two o'clock, to help uh, Kevin Shields with the Riverton Wolverine uh, broadcast. And uh, we'll be underway at two o'clock. Games at two and three thirty tomorrow at Wolverine Gym. Um, Halftime score here: Wyoming Indian fifty-five and St. Stevens. 36. We'll take a break. We'll be back with the second half of play. This is Wyoming Indian St. Stephen's basketball on KWYW 991 FM. We're streaming on YouTube at Wild Today. Riverton's Hampton Inn and Suites is proud to sponsor our youth athletics in Fremont County. Fremont County School Athletics provide our youth timeless experiences and lessons that can lead to success for life. Setting goals, teamwork, and hard work make young athletes into good citizens. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Community Health Centers of Central Wyoming has locations across Fremont County ready to serve you at Dubois Medical Clinic, Riverton Community Health, and Lander Community Health Pediatrics. We accept all forms of insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare. Are you struggling to get medical care? Ask for their sliding fee scale. From family medicine to pediatrics, Community Health Centers are here to serve you. Call 307-463-7160 or visit chccw.org to schedule your appointment. In any sport, athletes face the chance of sustaining an injury. According to the Athletic Training Association, 90% of student athletes reported some sort of sports related injury. What's more is 54% report playing while injured. For various reasons, sports related injuries are increasingly leaving our youth at risk of exposure to opioid based pain medication. Fremont when the game slows down.com is here to help navigate monitoring medication, social support, and suggestions on what to do when the game slows down. 
Brought to you by Fremont County Prevention Program. Is your resolution this year to be healthier? You may have made a commitment to improve your physical health, but don't forget about your financial health. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union is listed as one of the healthiest credit unions in the U.S. And we are the healthiest credit union in Wyoming, according to thepositaccounts.com. Don't risk having your accounts anywhere else. Become a member today and accomplish your first resolution by becoming healthier. Financially speaking, that is. Federally insured by NCUA. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. Gachi Rehabilitation and Wellness knows what it means to be on top of your game. For over 60 years, Gachi has led the field in providing physical therapy, occupational therapy, and wellness in Thermopolis and their facilities in Worland, Basin, Cody, and Shoshone. Whether you're recovering from an injury, deconditioned, post-stroke, or just looking to take control of your health, you'll find years of dedicated experience paired with personal care at Gachi Rehabilitation and Wellness. Learn more at gachi.org. Your car or truck is an investment. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Take it to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288. High Plains Power is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative. What does that mean for you as a Rural Electric Association member? It all comes down to seven principles. Open membership, one voice, one vote, member benefits, independence, education, cooperation, and community. To understand how it all works, we're headed back in time. In 1879, electricity was in major cities, but rural areas were out of luck. In 1935, President FDR made it possible for companies to build power lines to unserved areas. By the time we hit 1941, some 400 electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural America, just like High Plains Power. For more information, visit highplainspower.org. Hi, this is Terry Banker. I minister at New Hope Christian Church in Lander, Wyoming. We want to support the kids of this area academically, athletically, and spiritually. Our address is 630 Mount Hope Drive. Come to Sunday school at 930 and our worship service at 1045. Welcome back. Second half underway from St. Stephen's. Here's Brandon Coffey with the long three. Not good. And a rebound by Tyron Ridgely to Jordan Barraza. He'll take it in. Nice defense by Jaquin Jones and the rebound by Brandon Coffey. Looked for a minute like Barraza was going to slam that one. Did not. Here's Jones to Coffey. Right side around the corner to Tough Seabaring. Shot not good. Rebound Hunter Lone Dog. Nice to see some energy off that bench in Hunter Lone Dog. Never seen the kid before until tonight. Here's a rebound by Tough Seabaring. Barraza block shot. Back-to-back -back blocks for Barraza. Now Barraza on the handle, right side. Steven Lone Dog, his shot not good. And taken away and rebounded by Tyson Sounding Sides. To Jaquin Jones, 7.07 to play, third quarter. 55-36 ball game. Here's Tyson Sounding Sides from Tough Seabaring. And T Tyson now with eight points. 57-36, the lead is 21. Here's Antelope to Ridgely. Cross court, Barraza, jump shot, left it short. Rebound, tough sea bearing to Coffey. He'll run it down and then the ball will be tipped out of bounds off Ridgely. Tyron wanted the call, he didn't get it. 6.39 to play third quarter. Few fans in the house, even one from Pittsburgh, Kansas tonight. There's Tough Seabaring, left side to Hunter Lone Dog. He'll leave the shot short. Rebound, sounding sides. His put back, partially blocked by Hunter, uh, by Dane Antelope. Now Tyron Ridgely for three, it's good. Ridgely with his third three of the game. He's got 12. Back the other way, Coffee, lay it up good. 
And he's fouled by Dane Anero, who returns and punches the pad behind the basket. Dane Antelope, foul number three, and that was just a thing of beauty. Beautiful pass and a nice layup from Coffey. So Coffey with a chance at a three-point play. He's got 14. Now he's got 15 after he knocks it down. Wyoming Indians, seven of eight at the free throw line. On the other side, St. Stephens is four for six. There's Stephen Lone Dog, block shot by Tyson Sounding Sides. Pass down court, Brandon Coffey off Caden Lone Dog and out of bounds. And that was just hustle by Coffey to knock the ball off Lone Dog. 60 to 39, Chiefs. There's Jaquin Jones, top of the key. He'll drive right side, nearly have it stolen away, and then we'll get a foul on Caden Lone Dog. And that'll be his third foul. Second team foul on St. Stephen's. Wyoming Indian basketball. There's Jones inside. Tough sea bearing and stolen away by the Eagles. Turnover number eight on the Chiefs. Back the other end, jump shot, good. 20 points now for Barraza. Tyson sounding sides. He's gonna get knocked around by Tyron Ridgely. You can't believe it, but that's three fouls on Ridgely. He had a lot of body there on sounding sides. And Tyson will go to the line to shoot two. Sounding sides with eight points. Sounding sides at the line, eyes it, fires it, and misses it. So sounding sides with another opportunity. He'll step to the line, eyes it, fires it, and misses it. Rebound taken away by Hunter Lone Dog. Back outside to Coffee, And then we're gonna get foul number four on Tyron Ridgely. Coaches bark it out. Man, you got four fouls. He knows. Chiefs basketball, 5.33 to play third quarter. There's the pass in to sounding sides from the corner. Not good. Rebound Antelope. To Caden Lone Dog. Lone Dog. Cross court to Barraza. Jordan, nifty ball handling. And a foul gonna go on Hunter Lone Dog. That'll be his first. First team foul on the Chiefs. I'm sorry, his third. Pass down to Barraza in the corner. Jordan, turnaround shot, good. 22 points for Barraza. Seven away from his per game average. There's a pass right side to Lone Dog. In the lane, stops, pops a J, it's good. Wow. He's got six in the game. Now Caden Lone Dog. Lead is 19. Here's Dane Antelope from Barraza, lay it up and good. Seven points for Antelope. 4.47 to play. In the lane, Coffee with the nifty drive. He's got 15. And it's 64-45, Chiefs by 19. Back the other way, Tyron Ridgely. Nice pass to Antelope, lay it up and good. Back-to-back -back buckets for Dane Antelope. He's got nine, and the lead is 17. 64-47. Here's Tough, tried to find Tyson sounding side, stolen away by Ridgely. Ridgely to the hole, lays it up, walks with a basketball. And he says, no, I didn't, but yeah. He did, almost carrying a suitcase there was Tyron Ridgely. 4.14 to play, lead is 17. There's Hunter Lone Dog, three-pointer, good. I think we got a new varsity player in Hunter Lone Dog. Like it, 20-point game, 67-47. Steven Lone Dog, cross court, Tyron Ridgely, fakes him up, steps for three, air ball. Rebound, tough sea bearing. Out to Hunter Lone Dog. He'll go in, lay it up good. 11 points for Hunter Lone Dog. 69-47, here's Barraza for three, it's good. 
Seven points in the quarter, 25 for the game for Barraza. Now Hunter Lone Dog, another three, it's an air ball. Rebound, Andy McCabe put it up and good. Everything offense in this one, 69-50. Halfway through the fourth or the third quarter, we're gonna get a foul on Tough Seabaring. That'll be his second. And that'll send Barraza to the line. Chiefs lead it, 71-50. A lot of offense in this one. Hunter Lone Dog gonna have to get some water over on the sidelines as Barraza misses the free throw. Back in the game, Augustine and Brandon Coffey. Hunter Lone Dog will come out along with Jaquin Jones. Actually, Lone Dog still in the game. As Tyson Sounding Sides came out. Next free throw from Barraza is good. 71 51. Augustine, right side to Tough Seabaring. From the free throw line, his jumper a bit long. Rebound Ridgely. Outlet pass, Steven Lone Dog tries to jump stop. And he'll be fouled on the play by Tough Seabaring. Third foul on Seabaring. And Steven Lone Dog now with an opportunity at the free throw line. He'll shoot two. Steven Lone Dog, four points in the game. First trip to the free throw line. First one on the way, in and out. So he'll get a second. Jaquin Jones back in the game. He'll replace Tough. Tough sits down with those three fouls and eight points. Second free throw from Lone Dog is good. Five points for Lone Dog, and it's 71-52. Back the other way, Hunter Lone Dog all the way, coast to coast. Rebound Barraza. Down court, Steven Lone Dog. Long two, it's not good. And coming away with the rebound is Jaquin Jones. Down court to Augustine. He'll fake the pass, pop the three, not good. Rebound, Hunter Lone Dog, shot up and good. Hunter Lone Dog, 13 points. Steven Lone Dog, right side. Tyron Ridgely, long three off the backboard, not good. Rebound in the corner, Darian Augustine for three, in and out. Tipped around, Aubrey McCabe with the rebound. Left side, Hunter Lone Dog. He'll go inside, find McCabe for the layup. It's good. Six points for McCabe. 75-52. To Dane Antelope. Back to Ridgely. Can't get the shot. Finds Barraza for three. In and out. Rebound McCabe. To Hunter Lone Dog. Baseball it to Augustine. Back to McCabe. His shot nearly goes. Rebound. St. Stevens. To Ridgely. Lay it up good. Tyron Ridgely with 14 points. 75-54. Here's Lone Dog to Jaquin Jones. Turn around, McKay blocked by Barraza. To Caden Lone Dog. Caden down court, 131 to play. His shot will be tipped out of bounds. And it will stay with St. Stevens. Now in the game, Ryan Martell. And also in the game for, Saint, for Wyoming Indian is going to be number four. That'll be Anthony Big Knife. Timeout, 30 seconds. Big lead for the Chiefs. We're back. Former University of Wyoming quarterback Josh Allen is worthy of Wyoming. 23 plays into my first start here at the University of Wyoming. I dropped back, kind of went through a progression. I saw the middle of the field kind of open up. I decided to lower my shoulder. His helmet went straight into my collarbone here. We landed on the 20 yard line. At that moment, I knew something was really bad. So Josh's collarbone was pretty bad. He had broken in multiple places and it required um, hardware fixation with the plate in order to get it back together. It was devastating news to me and my family just knowing that you know it could have ended 23 plays in. We had no question whether we could perform the surgery here given our wider range of uh, varying subspecialties within orthopedics. 
I would recommend Premier Bone and Joint Centers. The thing that made me feel really comfortable with them was they made it feel like your own family. I think he'll have no problem performing in the NFL. His rehab and his recovery have uh, done very well and I don't see any restrictions on him whatsoever. They want the best for you and they won't steer you wrong. Let us show you why we're worthy of Wyoming. Chiefs basketball, 75-54. 110 to play third quarter. Ferris back in the game. He almost went up with it, not good. Takes the ball through his legs. Gets some oohs and ahs from the Lady Chiefs. Off my left shoulder. There's Darian Augustine in the lane. Right side pass. Back to Augustine, shot not good. And a rebound for Barraza. Outlet pass, Steven Lone Dog. He'll take it in. Nice defense by Jaquin Jones. And a rebound by Ryan Martell. Martell tried to go in on Barraza, loses the ball out of bounds. Turnover, Wyoming Indian. Final in overtime tonight in the boys game, Lander 46, Powell 45. So big win for the Tigers tonight. Here's Ridgely to Steven Lone Dog. Now Barraza turnaround shot, and he'll be fouled on the play as Jaquin Jones got him with the hand. Second foul on Jones. Chiefs coach didn't like the call, but uh, smiles all the way around. And Barraza to the line where he'll shoot a pair. First one, good. Jordan Barraza is one of those generational players on teams. He can jump, he can handle the ball, he can shoot jump shots. He can use either hand, plays great defense, block shots. Second one's good. 10 points in the quarter for Barraza, 28 for the game. Here's Augustine down underneath. Big knife with the shot, not good. Back to Augustine from six, and he'll miss it. Rebound, Barraza. Down court, nearly gets taken out by his teammate, Ridgely. Now Barraza rises for three, not good. Rebound Ferris, down court. Augustine, lay it up, good. Darian Augustine with the nice drive. He's got seven, and that'll do it. After three, it's Wyoming Indian 77. St. Stephen's 56, we'll be back. This is Fremont County Basketball on 99.1 FM. Riverton Vision Center offers comprehensive eye health exams, highly trained staff, and a large selection of fashion eyewear and sunglasses. Dr. Ballard, Dr. Hinkle, and Dr. Frazier offer over 70 years of experience. Call Riverton Vision Center at 856-9451 to schedule an appointment today. When repairs are complete after a collision, you expect your car, SUV, or truck to look like new. That's the service you'll receive at Stork Auto Body in Riverton. Professionalism and meticulous attention to detail. You can depend on Stork Auto Body, 841 Miniweb Avenue, Riverton. The choice is yours. Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card lets you choose from 5% off instantly at the register or special financing on qualifying purchases. That means no forms, no waiting, no rebates. You can choose 5% off instantly with your Sutherland's Credit Card. Got a big project? Choose special financing. The choice is yours with Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card. Subject to credit approval, minimum monthly payment required. See store for details only at Sutherland's. Welcome back, 77-56 ball game. And uh, it'll be St. Stephen's basketball as we start the fourth quarter. There's Lone Dog inside to Barraza and we're gonna get a push from behind on Jaquin Jones and that'll be his third foul. As we uh, said earlier, a final in overtime tonight, Lander 46. Powell 45. St. Stephen's basketball. There's Caden Lone Dog to Tyron Ridgely for three. It's good. Tyron Ridgely, 17 points in the ballgame. There's Augustine. Lead is 18, 77 59. Pass left side in the corner. Seahair shots an air ball. And the rebound taken away by Stephen Lone Dog. Left side, Caden Lone Dog, back to Barraza. Three-pointer, front of the rim, not good. And the rebound, Ryan Martell to Seahair. 
and Darian Augustine. Young team on the floor for the Chiefs. And we're gonna get a foul on the play on Caden Lone Dog. That'll be his fourth. Team fouls, five each in the second half. 7.18 to play, 77-59 ball game. There's a pass to Ferris, and he got intimidated by Dane Antelope's up reach hands, and then Dane Antelope ties up Ferris and forces the turnover. That's turnover 11 on the Chiefs tonight. I've got St. Stephen's for 14. 7-10 and counting. Proud to bring you this live stream tonight on YouTube at Wyo Today. Also on Facebook at 99.1. There's Barraza, nifty move inside. And that's 30 points now for Jordan Barraza. 77-61. There's Augustine in the lane, misses the layup. And then he'll foul Jordan Barraza. That's team foul number six. First foul on Augustine. And we're gonna get uh, back in the game. Jared Ferris comes out, Brandon Coffey in. Also Hunter Lone Dog, Tyson Sounding Sides in the game. So we've got now four of the five starters back in the ball game. Hunter Lone Dog's enjoyed a nice night in his first game as a varsity player. Here's Verbraza with the jumper. He's got 32, 77-53. Lander with the one point win in overtime over Powell tonight. Coffee with the walk. That's turnover number 11 on the Chiefs. Brandon smiles at the coach and at St. Stephen's basketball. As COVID forced this, this would be a rocking place, man. It'd be incredible if they would have filled up St. Stephen's. There's Barraza with the jump shot from the corner, not good. Down court to Brandon Coffey, he'll run it down. It was a double dribble, no call. And a rebound after the missed shot for Caden Lone Dog. To Barraza, he'll go in, lay it up, not good. Rebound by Brandon Coffey. Out to Tyson Sounding Sides, his shot is not good. Rebound Hunter Lone Dog, behind his back. Picked up by Steven Lone Dog, now Tyron Ridgely. Ridgely on the run. Takes it in, lays it up, misses the layup. Rebound, tough C bearing, and he'll throw the ball out of bounds. Well, that's turnover number 13 on the Chiefs. 16 on St. Stephen's. 77-63 ball game. Yes, it is. Lander with the win tonight in overtime over Powell, 46-45. There's Barraza, he'll rise, pop the J. And that's 34 points now for Jordan Barraza. One of the best performances in this county this year, but he averages 29. Just about every time out, Barraza does something special. Fun to watch. Left side, Hunter Lone Dog, three-pointer, not good. 12-point lead. St. Stephen's forcing their way back into this. There's Coffey, not good. Rebound, sounding side's not good. Rebound, Coffey, and he'll lose the ball out of bounds. Turnover. Wyoming Indian coaches getting a little upset over there, and they've got good reason. That's turnover number 14. St. Stephens has cut this lead to 12, and there's a lot of time to go. And Barraza hits the turnaround J. It's a 10-point game. 77-67, turnover Wyoming Indian. Here's Ridgely down deep to Lone Dog and he'll lose the ball out of bounds. So 17 turnovers now on the Eagles. Craig Ferris back up on his feet. This lead was 77-56, now it's 77-67. An 11-0 run by the Eagles to open this quarter. Here's Tough. He'll dribble back out toward the center line. Near steal by Barraza. Sounding sides picks it up. 419. Here's Hunter Lone Dog inside. He'll miss the shot. Put back. Miss by Tyson Sounding Side. Actually by Taryn Martell, excuse me. And we'll get a timeout 
by St. Stephen's coach Ricky Blackburn. We got a ball game here with 4.08 to play. It's Wyoming Indian 77, St. Stephen 67. We're back on 99.1 FM KWYW. There are two ways to buy 4x4 gear, the expensive way and the smart way. The expensive way is when you buy a new truck or SUV and the dealer sells you the brush guard, the heavy duty bumpers, the steps, lights, winch, you name it. He rolls it all in with your loan into your monthly payment. But here's the smart way. Shop at Wyoming 4x4, where you get expert advice from Dan, quality gear, professional installation, all for a whole lot less than you'd spend at a car dealer. Wyoming 4x4 on North Federal and Riverton. The smart way to roll. A proud sponsor of this broadcast is Bailey Enterprises. For over 50 years, Bailey has become the name you can trust. With pit stop travel centers, you can fuel up and stock up on trip snacks at locations all over Fremont County. You can also put your trust in Bailey Tire and Auto for service to keep handy for those times when your luck runs out on the road. Refresh at the Speedway Cafe with a dine-in meal or a round of carry-out with a variety of specials to keep you going. Go with Bailey. Welcome back, 77-67 in Barraza. Makes it an eight point game. He's got 10 in the quarter, 38 for the game. And it's 77-69. A lot of time to play here. Here's Hunter Lone Dog with the jumper. Air ball, rebound Dane Antelope to Barraza. Now back to Antelope, down court to Caden Lone Dog. He'll go through the hole, miss the shot. Rebound taken away by Jason Slowbear. And then Steven Lone Dog to the floor. So eight point game. The Wyoming Indian coaches are into this one because they can see the lead slipping away. 3.36 to play. Here's Jones across the timeline. Chiefs need to run some clock. Here's Jones to Tough. Back to Jones, right side, Brandon Coffey for three. And that was a big shot by Brandon Coffey. It's his 20th point, and that's the first bucket of the fourth quarter for the Chiefs. Here's Barraza, turnaround shot is good. Jordan Barraza now with 40 points. It's 80 to 71. Anybody's ball game. Here's Coffey, cross court to Lone Dog. Hunter Lone Dog gonna go to the hole, missed the shot. Rebound Antelope. Out to Barraza. Jordan Barraza on the run. And we're gonna get a foul on Jaquin Jones. And that'll be foul number four on Jones. So Barraza with a chance to crawl the Eagles even closer to the Chiefs. As he'll go to the line. And I believe it's a two shot foul. Nope, they're gonna say one on one. 12 points in the quarter, 40 for the game for Barraza. His free throw is good. I'm sorry you're not here tonight because this is a special one for Barraza now with 41. Eight point game, 251 to play. Barraza's second free throw is good. 80 to 73, seven point game. Basically a three possession game and here's a steal by Ridgely. He'll get it out to Steven Lone Dog. St. Stevens will set it up as Lone Dog thought about driving to the end. Finds Caden Lone Dog, top of the key. St. Stevens will set it up. Two and a half minutes to play. Here's an inlet pass to Barraza. His shot is short, but we'll get a foul on Tough Seabaron. And on Tough, that'll be foul number four. And back to the line, guess who? Jordan Barraza, he's got 42 points in the contest. And it's a seven point game. First free throw, good. St. Stevens has come storming back in this game. It's Jordan Barraza, 15. Brandon Coffey, three in this quarter. Second free throw, not good. So six point game, it's a two, two uh, possession ball game. 80 to 74. Here's Jones right side to Lone Dog. Now tough. Chiefs maybe gonna run some clock. Here's Jones. 2.07 to play. Back to Jaquin. He'll bring it underneath the hoop. Dribble out toward the center circle. 
Jaquin being guarded closely to Coffey. Now to Jones, and we'll get a foul on St. Stephens. All three Chiefs coaches barking out orders. And we'll get the fifth foul on Caden Lone Dog. So Lone Dog will foul out with 1.56 to play. And we'll get a timeout taken by St. Stephens. 1.56 to play. It's Wyoming Indian 80. St. Stephens 74. Hey, join us for the end of this one. It's going to be a special coming up next on KWYW. During winter storms, it doesn't take long for roads to turn slick. Snowfall is often accompanied by high winds, and blowing and drifting snow can make it difficult to see the road. Speed limits are based on dry pavement conditions and good visibility. Be ready to reduce speed and increase following distance. Crashes are twice as likely to happen when it's slick out, and it's usually because someone is driving too fast for conditions. Remember, when there's ice and snow, take it slow. This message is brought to you by YDOT. Central Wyoming College now offers Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in Early Childhood Education and Organizational Management and Leadership with an emphasis in outdoor education, tribal leadership, or business and entrepreneurial leadership. CWC offers three ways to learn, online, virtual, and in person. Learn, grow, lead, and advance at Central Wyoming College. CWC is leading the way with expanded programs in the Bachelor of Applied Science degree. Welcome back. It's Wyoming Indian basketball, 156 to play. They're sounding sides. They'll bring it in. Now the Chiefs going to spread it out a little bit as here's Hunter Lone Dog, right side to Jaquin Jones. It's something Craig Ferris takes pride in, but then they throw it away. Turnover as it goes off Brandon Coffey and out of bounds. And that turnover hurts. That's number 15 on the Chiefs. Lots of time to play here, 144 and counting. 80 to 74 ball game. Here's inside Barraza, lay it up and good, and that's 45 points, and it's a four point game. 80 to 76, 131 to play. Here's Tough to Jones. Back to Tough, 121 to play. Jaquin Jones will dribble into the corner where he'll get double teamed, and then we'll get a hold on St. Stephen's. And that foul going to go on Adrian Seher, his second. So 80 to 76 as Jones steps to the line. He's got 12 points all in the first half, and he's two for two at the line. Big free throws with 113 to play. Jones at the line, eyes it, fires it, and gets it. Big shot for the junior for Wyoming Indian. He's three for three at the line. Wyoming Indian now eight of 11 in the ball game at the free throw line. 81-75, second free throw on the way. Front of the rim, not good. And coming away, Dane Antelope to Jordan Barraza. Six-point game. There's Barraza, left side. Turnaround shot, not good. Barraza passed it off that time. And the shot by Seher was left short. And Jaquin Jones down on the ground. And we'll get a foul on St. Stephens. That foul going to be number five on Ty Tyron Ridgely with 57 seconds to play. So in the last minute, Caden Lone Dog and Tyron Ridgely have fouled out of this game. And back to the line, Jaquin Jones with those 13 points. 57 seconds to play, six point lead or five point lead for the Chiefs. First one on the way is good. So Jones may be hitting his two biggest points of the season here going two for three at the line in the last two possessions. We'll see if he can go three for four. Jaquin eyes it, fires it, and he'll miss it. Rebound Barraza. 
57 seconds to play. Here's Seahair, left side. And then the ball knocked out of bounds by Brandon Coffey. 52 seconds. Six point lead for the Chiefs. You know who they're gonna look for. They're gonna look for Jordan Barraza. His shot up quickly, not good. Rebound, tough Seabaron. To Tyson sounding sides. And Jaquin Jones, and then there's a bad pass. And a steal. And then coming back with the ball to Barraza. He'll lay it up and good. And we've got a four point game, 35 seconds to play. Here's Jones, across the timeline. 30 seconds in the corner. Hunter Lone Dog, and he'll be fouled by Dane Antelope. Fourth foul on Antelope. And now Hunter Lone Dog, and that's exactly who you want to foul because Hunter Lone Dog, 13 points, but 0 for 2 at the line. 25 seconds to play. Both teams in the bonus. As that's the eighth team foul, or ninth team foul on St. Stephen's. First shot from Lone Dog, good. Big free throw for Hunter Lone Dog. 83-78. Two possession game. Second one on the way, good. Big shots for Hunter Lone Dog. 84-78, 23 seconds to play. And Lone Dog gonna be called for the foul. His fourth. Good defense. And that'll send Adrian Seahair to the line. Seahair in this game, two points. No, he has not scored. Free throw on the way, not good. Rebound, Tyson sounding sides. 18 seconds to play, and we'll get a foul on Steven Lone Dog. His second. So Coffey, with those 20 points in the game, will go to the line. Brandon Coffey, two for two at the line. He scored in every quarter, five in the first, seven in the second, five in the third, three in the fourth, and it just drained the free throw. So good game for Brandon Coffey. Chiefs lead it, 85-78. 15 seconds to play, next free throw on the way is good. And now it's an eight point game, three possession game. As we go inside 10 seconds. See here outside, stolen away by Tough Seabaring. And that's going to do it. Chiefs going to be fouled in the backcourt. I believe that foul on Dane Antelope. And that'll be foul number five on him. So Antelope fouls out with four seconds to play. And that's the third St. Stephen starter who will foul out. But what a comeback by the Eagles to make this one interesting in the game for the Eagles. The 14, Walter Duran. Tough Seabaring misses the free throw. Tough with eight points tonight. Jaquin Jones with 14. Brandon Coffey with 22. Hunter Lone Dog with 15. And that's gonna do it on the missed free throw. They'll run it out. And the final score. Wyoming Indian, 86. And St. Stephen's, 78. Exciting ball game here at St. Stephen's High School. We'll be back with the Click It or Ticket post game show. This is Wyoming Indian basketball and St. Stephen's basketball on KWYW. Hi, I'm Tom from Fremont Therapy Group, and we're gonna be talking about running analysis. Running analysis has three components to it. Obviously, you look at the running part. Um, that's kind of the gait pattern, looking at how well they strike the ground. The next part looks at how strong they are, their legs, also how flexible they are. There are certain muscles that become tight uh, the more you run. And then the last part, it's looking at how well you move. So you're looking at ways to help you reduce your chance of injury. Come on in, you're gonna love it. We'll get you on the treadmill and uh, start the process. 
Why should your new floor come from Carpet One? Because we're passionate about the spaces our neighbors call home. We're part of your community, and we're also part of the world's largest cooperative of independently owned and operated flooring stores. So you can be sure you'll get great selection and outstanding value with every installation. Whether it's carpet, hardwood, tile, or luxury vinyl, our experts take the guesswork out of choosing the right floor. We're your local Carpet One Floor and Home, the one store for your perfect floor. When you purchase your car, do you know if you got the best payment possible? The answer is probably no. Oftentimes, your loan is packed with additional charges that can drive your monthly payment higher than it should be, costing you thousands of dollars more for your car. Hi, this is Patty, and here is your second chance to get the payment you deserve. Visit Atlantic City Federal Credit Union today for a courtesy loan review. We've helped our members save money by refinancing their vehicle with us. Now it's your turn. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. Why should you choose Lander Medical Clinic or Western Family Care for your health care? In addition to four locations in Fremont County, they also provide telehealth. Telehealth can be your go-to answer when you're out of town, on the road, or just can't get to urgent care. All you need is a good internet connection. To schedule a telehealth appointment, call 332-3941 today. That's 332-3941. Lander Medical Clinic and Western Family Care. With telehealth, they're putting your health first every time. Welcome back. As we're in the post game, we got uh, Wyoming Indian coach Craig Ferris here. And uh, coach, I know you had, you had that big lead, 77-56 after three. And I don't think anybody expects, uh, even though he's good, <laughs> but Jordan Barraza came back in a big way okay. in the fourth quarter. He scored all but three points as they scored uh, 22 points. So he ended up with 19 in that fourth quarter. Yeah, you know, and they rallied. They, yeah, they, they, you know, there's a reason why they won as many games as they have this year. They're they're a good team, you know, with with Barraza leading leading them. They they play hard. They don't give up. You know, I thought thought we kind of had them there in the third quarter when we were up. They looked like they were a little down. Looked like they were tired. But um, I might have subbed a little too soon. But you know, it was a good opportunity to get some bench guys in, and they took advantage of it. Yeah, you know, it was fun though to see. You brought a young man in that I've never even seen play before, Hunter Lone Dog. Yeah, yeah, he's and, a, uh, he, he had 15 points yeah, tonight. I see. He always, he's a big addition to the team, man. His his energy, his positivity. He, he I think that's kind of what we were missing this first half of the season was a guy like that. You know, somebody who's uh, pushing the guys. You know, that floor leader out there that's you know getting everybody in the spots where they needed to be, and you know everybody just feeds off that. Well, your point guard tonight, and we talked about it before the game. It just. Uh, not, not as confident as he has been, but Jaquan Jones came out tonight, put up 12 in the first half. He finished with 14 points, and he made some big plays down the stretch. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, um, first half, he, he was feeling it. We, we were running our offense. He's the one who uh, got us going in it and kind of got everybody. Once everybody started playing off him, we got to go. Got, got, got it going there. But um, second half, you know. It, it's one of those mind game things where they they changed their defense. They made some adjustment adjustments on us, and it kind of threw them off his little game a game a little bit. But like I told him at the end of the hat, at the, sorry, like I told him at the end of the game, you know, this is why we play in these games. We're trying to figure these things out right now, so that when regionals and state come along, we're we're expe uh, used to it. We're we know what to expect. We know how to react, and we know how to adjust. Well, nice to get some contributions off the bench tonight from uh, guys like uh, Aubrey McCabe. Um, let's see, you had the Martell boys getting in there. Jason Slowbear came in, hit a three. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, nice to get uh, some new faces in there as you were down a couple guys tonight. Yeah, yeah, we got some guys out sick, so um, we pulled some guys up and give, figured a perfect opportunity to give them a chance, see how they do, get them a little bit of feel of it. That, you know, experience is everything when it comes to varsity basketball, especially in a, as, as tough as 2A is. Um, it was a great opportunity to let them see how fast it is and see the things that they need to work on and, you know, uh, things they need to get developed. So. Well, the uh, the upshot is, uh, you know, you, you start the season three and six, but the upshot is you're two and zero oh in conference play. Hey, that's all that matters right now. You know, we, that's why we play the regular season. We play those games to get ourselves ready for regionals and state. And 
Oh, I say it every year. It doesn't matter what you do in a regular season. You got to win three games at regionals, and you got to win three games at state. So that's that's what our focus is on right now. Well, and next Friday you make that trip over South Pass and go play Big Piney. Oh, yeah. another big conference matchup. Yeah, and I think uh, St. Stephen's makes that trip tomorrow. So you know it's going to be great to see what they how they can handle it down in there, and you know get to watch some of that film so that we can get adjusted and ready for that one. Brandon Coffey, I think, likes playing against St. Stephen's. He had a huge game up at Ethany, and tonight. Game high, 22 points. Man, that kid, the more the more he plays, the more he comes out of his shell, the more the more um, uh, surprised I am with him. You know, he's just a, you know, an a a animal when it comes to handling the ball with that left hand. You know, he's making some, making some moves that you don't really expect, and I'm wondering how he got that close to the basket. <laughs> he's, he's playing, he's playing big for us. You got a two-game winning streak, coach, and right. I know, I know, uh, Mike was pretty excited when you got that win over in Thermopolis. I don't know if you were watching. But yeah, I was, turned to the video stream and said, <laughs> "We got one." Oh yeah, yeah. I watched. I watched all three of those games. Uh, you know, total night and day teams from uh, from over there uh, last week into today. Um, guys are really starting to buy in. They're really starting to gel together, and that's one of the one of the keys. I said, you know, at the beginning of the game, was we need to do is be able to start playing together more. You know, playing. You know, trusting each other and and. Um, I'm um, giving ourselves opportunities. Well, you played some college ball. Um, Jordan Barraza's got all the skill set, right, to oh, play yeah, college, yeah, probably yeah. major college ball. You know, with, with uh, the way the college level is playing right now, he's got the body, he's got the jumper, he's got the speed. You know, I, I, I do not doubt one bit that he is not going to be playing somewhere else in college. So. You know, he can play with either hand. Yeah. He's a great defender. I yep. mean, it's fun to play against guys like that. It's fun to see your oh, guys yeah. get a chance, right? Yeah, you, you, you know, you're going to see those guys in the, in the postseason, those, those guys that are just, you know, automatic buckets. And you, it's great as a coach to try to figure out how to get them stopped, and it's great for the guys to be able to play against guys like that and grow and get better. All right, Coach. Hey, uh, thanks for joining us here on the post game. Um, our players of the game tonight, Jordan Barraza for St. Stephen's and Jaquin Jones for Wyoming Indians. Awesome. So, cool, cool. Um, could you pass this one on to Barraza? I will, I will. All right, Coach, All right. thank you for joining us here on the yes. post game. We'll thank see you, you. We'll have see you weekend. Make sure you watch the Bills play tomorrow since you have no game. Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> I'll see what happens. I, I'm kind of, I don't really have a team in the NFL, I, um, but I do root for the old fellas. So, I don't know. I'm kind of <laughs> on the Brady side, but I love Josh Allen because he's from Wyoming. So. All right. Thanks, Coach. Hey, that's Coach Craig Ferris joining us here on the post game, and uh, we're going to get out of here. But uh, we want to uh, say thanks to uh, uh, Kirk Baxter uh, getting us on the air tonight, and uh, with the sign off, and uh, you're hearing his voice on some ads, and we appreciate that. Um, to the general manager of the Wind River Radio Network, uh, um, Kevin Shields. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Sorry you had problems over in Rock Springs tonight, but Kevin and I will be back on the air tomorrow. Uh, with the Riverton games as they uh, play tomorrow at 2 and 3.30, and we'll have the uh, live stream video feed on that one. Wyoming Indian tonight, the boys win it um, 86-78. It was a big comeback by the St. Stephen's Eagles tonight, led in that fourth quarter by 19 points from Jaraza, Jordan Barraza. He finishes with a game-high 47, and in the girls' game tonight, it was Wyoming Indian 70 and St. Stephen's 35. Hey, for Matthew Hauser, I'm Cody Beers. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. Stand up and say, go Bills, in the playoffs as they take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, Hauser over here, the whole family's kind of brainwashed. They're Chiefs fans, but uh, hey, it's going to be Bills Saturday right from Kansas City tomorrow. We'll see you uh, next Friday from Big Piney. This is Wyoming Indian and St. Stephen's basketball on KWYW. Have a wonderful weekend and enjoy um, some great football this weekend. We'll see you tomorrow for Riverton football on um, KTAK. I'm Cody Beers. Have a wonderful evening.